the authentic D&D right. experience. This is the yeah. authentic D&D experience. We are recording <laughs> us talking <laughs> about pencils. Pencils. No, no, oh, I broke the pencil case. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> See, and this, I got some plastic and this ladies and gentlemen, is what a crit fail is like. Oh, God, look um, what I did. <laughs> oh, God, it's on fire. There are so many dead. <laughs> okay, okay, enough. Yes. Right, there are some pencils. Everybody take a pencil if you need a pencil. Oh, no, I can't reach. Mm-hmm. 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 I just complain mm-hmm. about everything. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> there's your out of striking range. Yeah. That's that's exactly right. Oh man. And this is gonna be great. Any second now. I believe we are live. All right. Fantastic. Hello, all of the no people who are currently watching, and welcome to any of the people that do. This is the pilot episode zero of the War of Inheritance. Uh, There will be titles and pictures and all kinds of fun (laughs) things going up on this stream at some point in the not too distant future. But for now, uh, we're just, I think, going to crack on. Would we like to very briefly go around the table and describe our characters? Uh, Starting with uh, someone that is Amy. Okay, I am playing uh, Neve of the Wells. I am a native Estalian druid because uh, the land that we are in is Estalia um, but uh, it has been uh, invaded about 100 years ago uh, about 300 years about, ago about 300 years ago apologize, um, by the Browter uh, and they're kind of in charge of everything now uh, but I am I am one of the original native people and I am Neve of the Wells because um, it is my job to maintain and purify wells and thereby kind of accessing the magical powers that are part of that and fixing magic. the land. Yep. Magic, yeah. Cool. So that's me. Um, moving on. Uh, so I'm playing Iris. Iris is a, uh, a half elf uh, foundling. Uh, from the same village as, as Neve. Mm-hmm. Uh, grown up very much an outsider, but has recently, um, through a series of unfortunate events, mm-hmm. come to a, a great sorceress power. It's um, Neil Patrick Harris. <laughs> <laughs> um, from, uh, which is tied <laughs> mysteriously to the men here dotted in the countryside around uh, the land. That's right. Uh, moving on. Uh, I'm George Winter. Um, <laughs> There wasn't a teaspoon. Uh, I am uh, George Winter. Uh, I am. Start as we need to go on. <laughs> um, uh, raised an orphan in uh, military service to the uh, Browter, the duchies to the uh, the north. What's the duchy called? Josh. It's definitely Merit. called a. Uh, uh, so no, the. Uh, oh, sorry. Right, sorry. I, I've redrawn that. Um, oh. So the northern, the the northern. Uh, Feindom that yeah. you are in is Galatea. Galatea is the name of the Feindom that you are from. Are we, are we, are we all from the same? I thought we were from a different Feindom. Oh, uh, no, you're, were... from di- you're all from different baronies, but you're all from the same uh, right. Feindom. Right. I'll show you right now. There's a map. And I will, if I edit this for YouTube, I'll do a better map and show you, put it there. But for now, that's what it looks like. So uh, this is broadly what the kingdom, the kingdom extends up to the north. So in a historical context, this is a kingdom which is halfway conquered. Uh, but as far as you guys are concerned, oh, look at us, we did it, we won, we drew a line in the map, and there we, we're good. And there's no problems up here, or if they are, they belong to the Galatea. Thamedom of Galatea, and fuck those guys. So the Thamedom of Galatea, <laughs> that's and right. the Barony of Merrick? Uh, yeah, Merrick is one of the baronies in yeah. Galatea, that's and right. And it's the northernmost one, if I recall, isn't it? Uh, yeah, the northernmost barony is Merrick, which is about there. But I haven't drawn barony lines, but yeah, these are the, these are the five Thamedoms that exist. The capital is... Penga, which is there, which is in Metria, which is the big one. Penga. Hey, so, right. apologies. It's um, for I'm uh, your Winter. Uh, I'm uh, an orphan raised in uh, military service. Um, my last battle, uh, shortly before the um, situations that are going on here, went poorly. Um, and for some reason, an Astalian god has stamped ownership. Uh, and now I've, despite being a soldier of the Browser, uh, I'm now a paladin, apparently a paladin of uh, a god I don't know the name of yet. Uh, Elaine. Elaine is her name. I was going to ask you what her name was, but it's Elaine. Oh, no. I know. It's, sorry. I did remember that it was Elaine, but I don't know the... Anyway. Oh, maybe you don't know that in character. No, no. Yeah. I absolutely don't know the name in character. Solid. I love that. That's really cool. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so we've got like a, a cleric who doesn't know they're a cleric yet. 
paladin. Sorry, paladin. Yeah, paladin. Have you tried not being a paladin? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying really hard not to be a paladin, all right? Okay, cool. Um, and then last but not least. Hello, I'm Zoe. I'm playing Freya, who is a rogue who is rich. <laughs> A successful the, rogue. <laughs> no, an unsuccessful rogue. So I'm the fifth daughter of a baron. I have lived a very privileged life of boredom and making a nuisance out of myself. Mm -hmm. And now I'm being sent away to go have an adventure. Mm. Solid. Okay. Um, so that, that was certainly the premise. I think we're going to adjust it a little bit in the opening scene, which you okay. will see. Okay. Um, but that's, that's okay. okay. There's, there's tweaks that I've made... Uh, which I would have communicated to you all if I were a better DM. <laughs> so we're going to... You have a map that makes you like, you're definitely in the top 10%. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> okay, so... It'll be a different map every week. Yes. Sorry, it's changed again, it's changed again. <laughs> you're now on the southernmost coast and there's jungles everywhere. <laughs> also, it's now the future and you've got laser rifles. <laughs> That's, that's a pretty good laser rifle sound. Yeah, yeah. I, I really do. Um, I ran a Shadowrun game and I have a really distressingly extensive uh, music library for it. I spent way too much time for a game that ran I am, three I, weeks. I am, <laughs> I am so here for that. Uh, if you ever want to make that happen again, I am so here for that. Anyway. But for now, um, this will definitely not be picked up on the speakers because it's too quiet, but that's okay, just some background music. Um, we're going to open in the, uh, in the keep. Uh, what was the name of the barony? Merrick. 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 Um, uh, we open in Merrick Keep. Um, and Merrick Keep is a quiet place. And it has been for the last two days. Normally a hustle of noise and blacksmithing of horses and traders and people. It's one of the largest towns, if not the largest town, in the barony. And practically everyone is gone and this is because the baron has taken his troops and marched south to the border the high king is dead he has left behind only a 14 year old daughter who is too young to inherit the throne the southernmost provinces of uh, metria which is where the capital is and Kemaros are currently preparing to go to war to seize the kingdom and Galatea which has never had much love from the rest of the uh, from the, the rest of the kingdom itself has started to marshal its forces the fame of Galatea has gone to his three barons and demanded all of their forces and all of their men to march south and prop up his southern border potentially to expand if the opportunity arises it is a time of civil war yes do we have a name for that king uh, you certainly do. Um, he is Thane Wolfric, is his name. Uh, and he is your Thane. So he is. And Thanes are basically kings. The duchies or the Thanedoms are the size of kingdoms. So Thane Wolfric um, is effectively your king. And he has insisted on obedience from the barons who have grumbled, who have not liked it, but who have complied because they have very little alternative. So they grabbed all of the troops and disappeared leaving behind uh, Alyssa, who is your eldest sister. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you like her already. <laughs> yeah, for, um, two of your other sisters uh, have gone with your father, the Baron, and they've headed down south to war. Uh, but uh, the eldest sister has stayed behind, to inherit the barony because you are you are the youngest of five daughters mm -hmm. um and so Alyssa is currently the de facto baron well she's the baroness there's no uh, there's no one she has to answer to because her father has taken the troops and marched down south which means that until he returns or until the thane turns up she in charge and you walk in uh your father left i think your father left yesterday so okay. there was a great pomp and ceremony and uh, lots of people wish them luck and there was a big banquet and it's the day after and the streets are currently being cleaned and swept by the peasantry who are going well we weren't invited to this stupid party and you walk into the great hall and 
at the Great Hall. <laughs> at the Great Hall, uh, there is a large desk at which your father always stood. Mm-hmm. He never sits at this desk because he believes, um, one of his motifs, he believes that a leader's job is to uh, bear the burden. You don't get to sit while your people are starving or at war or in trouble. And so he would tell you that he looks forward to the day that he is allowed to sit down and relax, knowing that all of the ills of his people <coughs> are sorted. Alyssa is sat on the chair. She has her feet on the table. Ah, Freya, come in. I have news, she says. And she waves a piece of paper. Fifth bell. Father's left instructions. She doesn't seem pleased about that. <laughs> what instructions? Oh, you're going to love them, she says. The others did. Um, you see, yeah, yeah, there's a moment of sadness in there. She's she's not acting the same way that she was even yesterday. Um, okay. They say power changes people, and she is not liking the change that she's having to go through to do this. You are to be married. <laughs> and you... <laughs> you are to be married, and you are to be married to a baron from Krasos. Now, Krasos is... Yeah, Krasos is a famedom that... Uh, borders Galatea and there's like there's a long standing rivalry between you guys you guys have never gotten on um, and yeah basically is father trying to declare war on Crash? <laughs> <laughs> I believe the intention is to avert war this baron will be turning up here within the next two days and I believe he means to take you straight away to marry you in Krasos. In Krasos. In Krasos. <laughs> um, in wonders Brunhilde, uh, who is one of your other sisters. And she comes in and she is a picture of radiance. She's wearing a long blue gown and there are literally a pair of birds that are tweeting, carrying the train <laughs> behind her as she comes in. She says, oh, hello, hello. What a lovely day it is today. Yes, it's very lovely. How are you, Freya? (laughs) Good, I'm so pleased. (laughs) How is the business of the kingdom, Alyssa? And she goes, oh, Hilda, thank goodness you're here. What would we do? Father has left instructions for you as well. And she turns to her sister. They have a brief she gestures her sister over and they have a brief conversation in private and Brunhilde pauses for a moment and then you hear her oh oh how wonderful what marvelous news and she turns and rushes over to you and says Freya Freya I am to be married and so are you we shall be married together what a wonderful ceremony it will be I'm very happy for you (laughs) not as happy as I am for you oh I must plan. I must get the tailors. And she charges out of the room. If any consolation, I want to slap her as well. Because <laughs> um, I've met that person. She is, yeah. This is your sister. I love her so much. She is exactly the person that you have always known. She hasn't changed one bit. She is a fairy tale princess straight out of a 1950s Disney movie. That's all she wants from her life. She's been dreaming of a great big wedding mm. since she was old enough to dream and now she's getting it and she couldn't be happier. And she's really racist. Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> That's, well, sl- slide under the rug, slide under the rug. The nice parts of the 1950s Disney movie. Nice parts. The nice parts, yeah. This ain't Dumbo. Okay. Uh, uh. Yes. Um, oh, we went there. Uh, moving swiftly on (laughs) your sister turns to you uh, Alyssa and she says I'm sorry for what it's worth honestly I'm just going to walk out and go to the pub (laughs) (laughs) okay um, you start to walk out and somebody else walks into the room Um, this person is would you describe your character Uh, Neve is um, uh, short, 
uh, probably in her late 50s, early 60s. Mm-hmm. Um, so grey coming into her hair. Um, she is um, dressed practically um, for stomping through muddy fields and for wind and weather. Um, okay. In walks this kind of elderly farm lady. <laughs> <laughs> There's a peasant in your way. Her clothes um, are really well made, by the way. Her clothes are really well made, but also clearly maintained. They've been patched, they've been darned, and the colour that was probably once quite bright has faded to a slightly dull brown. Mm. And she walks into the room, bold as brass, and strides straight up to the desk. Yeah. Um, uh, Alyssa of Merrick, uh, y- I have to talk to you. I have tried to talk to your father time and time and time again, and he will not listen to reason, and I am hoping that you have more of a brain between your ears than he does. Are you ready to listen to my proposal? I'm going to stay and watch this. <laughs> <laughs> ah, theatre. They deliver it to you now. Uh, okay. So... Uh, Alyssa turns and she looks at you and she goes, I... Good, right. Now, (laughs) the problem is, as you might know, I am the keeper of the well in this province. And I'm doing a grand job, if I say so myself. But our well is fed by a primal well. I am in charge here. Yes, indeed. This is why I've come to you. (laughs) Our well is fed by a primal well that lies further north beyond our borders. Now, with a small contingent of soldiers, I could trek up there, it would take me but a few days, and I could clear that site, which would mean that the job of maintaining the well here would be improved tenfold. I would, I could leave it in the hands of a few of my um, disciples who are training up and the land as a whole would benefit from this, but I can't do it on my own. I, I have um, people who are training under me, people who can come with me, but I need soldiers. Can you lend me some of your men and women to go with me? Alyssa pauses for a second. You you were the, the woman that my, my father speaks to. Your name is uh, Neve. 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 Neve of the well. Neve of... Yes, Neve, and you, you, you do woodland things. Yes, <laughs> yes, I do woodland things, like, important woodland things that give you your food. Right, I do like food. <laughs> so, hang, run this by me one more time. The the you look after magic wells. Yes, which are different from normal wells. Well, no, all wells are magic. <laughs> You're losing her. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. And you want soldiers to go and hunt for another better magic well. No. When the wells are clear, the land is healthy. We can have good food. Everybody is happy. Our well is being poisoned by another well because like rivers, they are connected. If I can clear that well, then I won't have to do as much work clearing this well. Our land will be better. So you want my soldiers... This is a moot point. I have no soldiers to give you. What are you talking about? Of and course you have soldiers. There are literally two guards standing in the room. Look, I can take these ones. <laughs> <laughs> the two guards shift, shift a little. And <clears throat> they both have halberds. She'd be great. He'd be great. Let's do it. That's I need, it. I need nothing. maybe three. If I send away the keep guards, there will be no one to enforce law right here. Well, you must have some. I am afraid that all of the troops that I could have spared, all of the troops that can be spared, have been taken by the Thane, by my father, by the other barons, and they have headed south. Hmm. At which point... Uh, I, I, I'm surprised to see, yeah, cool. Um, yeah, at which point, uh, into the, uh, yeah, into the keep comes a, uh, a 
lost looking individual clearly knows where he's going describe yourself uh jorg um looks confused mostly because he very much is um jorg is um probably a a head taller than any of the rest of you he's big i play tall characters a lot because it's easier that's fine Um, (laughs) be tall um he's big and incredibly well built um how tall? Uh, six six. Six, six, six. Six. Okay. Big guy. Big guy. Um, uh, face that's. It's a face for radio a little bit. Um, <laughs> he's, 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 he's been through the wars, quite literally. Um, he is currently dressed in a weird mix of. Uh, like, there's. Basically, he's not clearly wearing his own clothes. Like, they seem to have been some clothes that he's either found or been given from somewhere. Um, there's an axe on his belt, but he's not wearing any armor or um, anything else at the moment. Um, uh, he has a, a reasonably close cropped beard. Uh, he is um, brown hair uh, tied back in a ponytail, but with a, a blue dyed streak down the middle. A um, bit of grey at the edges. Um, uh, and the fatigues that he's wearing, the the clothes that you're wearing, sport the symbol. They, they do not. Oh, they do not. Oh, they, pointedly, yeah, they, they do they, not. They are, they are not my clothes. Yeah. Um, um, who do I... Um, yeah, so you have walked in... Uh, you, you guys see uh, the the Great Hall overlooks. It's on the first floor, and it overlooks the courtyard of the keep. And you've just seen this guy walk into the courtyard. Mm-hmm. I'm going to continue wandering until I find a guard to talk yeah, to. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, a, a guard comes up to you um, and says... Greetings, friend. Um, what business have you here? Well, I went to my mustering field for the um, 52nd Regiment. Yeah, they were gone. And they are not there. Um, I went to try and find my superiors, and none of them are there. 52nd? Yeah. 52nd? The, the 50, 51st and 52nd have all marched south. Why? Friend, the, the thane has taken them. But there is war in the kingdom. The high king is dead. <sighs> um, all of this, uh, you you over here and see all of this happening uh, just outside, and uh, you see that there's a soldier who's just come back and has no idea of what is going on. He has no idea the high king has died. You have no idea where he's been. Um, but he is dressed very strangely. Mm. He is dressed in well, not not so strangely to you, but <laughs> certainly you see this guy, and he is dressed. He's just weird. He doesn't dress like a like a browter, though he clearly is a browter. Absolutely no question of it. Mm. Um, you, like anybody watching will see his shoulders fall. He sort of like is very physically slumped at this news and kind of. Were you at? Were you at the Skybridge Pass? Uh, yes, yeah, I was. I heard they all got routed. How did you survive? Come, come with me. Uh, and he uh, says, Calm, calm! And he gets one of the other guards and he uh, ushers you over to uh, the got a big stand of beer and he pours you one and hands you a mug of beer. Uh, I will gladly, gladly drink at this point. Uh, Skybridge Pass, yeah? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, Alyssa looks out and goes, Am my guards drinking? <laughs> <laughs> I am in charge here, she says, stamping her foot and shouting it quite loudly. It echoes throughout the courtyard in a way she didn't want it to. I am in charge here. I am in charge here. And crows fly off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is, th- this keep is pretty empty. There's not many people here. And the, those that were look up and go, oh, that's noble business. Not, <laughs> not here. <laughs> Do the guards twitch? <clears throat> the guards look up at her because this is new for them they now answer to her and they go yep she's in charge here Uh, and and have another beer (laughs) (laughs) Um, she starts to make her way down and she leaves the hall to come down she's left the hall what is a sign of deference to another person in this culture do we bow do we um, is there a brow? Is there a salute? Is there a yeah? Um, so the do you drop to one knee? Is it what? Well, you would, you would, so you would drop to one knee as a sign of uh, respectful nobility. Yeah. Um, so uh, 
um, it's a sign of absolute deference is dropping to one knee. Yeah. Uh, a military yeah. salute yeah. is one hand to the chest like that and say, um, that's, okay. that's what I do. And you could nod to anybody as a sign of respect. No, no, that's up to you. Um, and so Alyssa comes down. I'm going to fall in with her as she walks past As she walks past you. Okay, cool. I'm coming, guys. I'm going as well. <laughs> that's fair enough. Nobody stops you. The two guards <laughs> watch them leave the room and... Uh, Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I might need you guys. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, the, the two guards who were standing in the throne room they close the door and guard the outside of the throne room and go right okay the great hall uh, you march down the sides of the keep there's a set of stairs with uh, one wall sheer to the courtyard and the stone wall of the keep to the other side and Alyssa says what are you doing drinking in the middle of the day um, I, I've, uh, I, the, I, I get the general impression that I've heard that tone enough uh, the 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 drop to what the turn and drop to one knee and the bowing of the head is that there is no thought process required between <laughs> the brain and the muscles. It just happens, see, and I'm down. You see this really impressive like bam cutscene, <laughs> and uh, Alyssa stands before you. Alyssa of Merrick is uh, she is a redhead with crazy wild curly hair. Uh, she looks like. The Brave? girl from Brave, if yeah. the girl from Brave was about 30. Okay. And she's standing there. She's clearly not used to command. She doesn't really know what she's doing with it. Um, and so she turns and she says, My lady. Who are you? Uh, I'm York, uh, my lady of uh, the 52nd. You... Oh, one, of, one of the soldiers. I see. Uh, pl- please stand. Uh, yeah. Uh, he doesn't make eye contact. What what news from my father? Uh, I I am I have not been with my regiment, uh, my lady. Uh, I have I was recently returned from um, from Skybridge Pass. I was um, uh, I was left on the battlefield, and um, it took me some time to make my way back. Left on the battlefield. Um, yes. Huh. I'm going to just start circling you, going. <laughs> Those be a stallion clothes. <laughs> uh, yeah, they are. They are a stallion clothes, absolutely. Yeah, no, but I'm looking for like the breaks, act- bruises, like lo- lost limbs. And it I'm looks like, fine. Yeah, yeah. The axe is brighter. So you were left on the battlefield. I'm sorry to hear that. How did you make it back alive? Uh, I'm not entirely sure about that, um, but I'm. Here is all I can say. I, I don't have answers for you, my lady. I'm sorry. All right. I'm, all I know is that I'm alive. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how or why. And your regiment's gone? Uh, yes. If you can tell me where they're gone, I can go and rejoin with them as soon as I've... Um, uh, if I can check some equipment out quickly to, to see what my equipment is like. Well, at this point, surely they'll be... Several days march. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can I can definitely catch uh, up with them all. Maybe there's, a, there's a note of desperation in his voice. Maybe an insight check. Uh, <laughs> sure. And uh, make me a persuasion check. Persuasion check. Uh, D20. Yes. That's right. Uh, 18. Uh, 18 for an insight check. Okay, at the moment, Alyssa. Oh, thank you. She. <laughs> does, she uh, nat uh, 20! <laughs> a nat 20. Okay, so at the moment. On oh, a nat 20, that's amazing. So, Can't write this. you say, <laughs> I'd like to go and rejoin my unit. Boy, gee, I sure would like to go rejoin my unit. And Alyssa is pretty certain that you're a deserter. Oh. You can't explain where you were, how you survived, and your unit left you at a, like, at a route where well, everybody died, except for me. I survived. So she's pretty sure that you're a turncoat who's made your way back home okay. and have tried to avoid the... It's convenient that you've turned up a day after everybody's left the war. So she's pretty sure that you fled the war in the north and have come back going, can I have some arms and armour? And trust me, I'll go join up with the unit. That's what... Okay. Um, and so... That will destroy him a little bit inside, I think. <laughs> yeah. He's... She, she doesn't know... She, any, doesn't, she, she doesn't, doesn't know, know anything. From, she doesn't know me from... That's, from, that's her assumption. You've turned yeah, up and gone, fine. I can't tell you anything. And she's gone, aha. Uh-huh. I have found you a soldier, she says. Please take him with my blessing. Marvellous. Nice to meet you. I'm Neve of the Wells. <laughs> uh, 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 yes, my lady. Uh, this is my commanding officer. I am your commanding officer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? My lady. 
I will be leading this expedition. <laughs> Sister, clearly this is more important. <laughs> <laughs> you have a duty to your family. To wed some nobody whose army has just left. Along with fathers. Diplomacy is nowhere near as important as ensuring the food supply. Well, that's very true. This may not be the actual lineup of where you two are in relation to Jorg, but in my head, if it is, Jorg is just back like, in the way. It's like he is not comfortable being in this crossfire. Like bows and arrows, fine. This, fuck this. <laughs> How far away is this world to the north? Um, she asks you. You know the answer is. It's about three days ride, uh, three days travel north. Three days travel. Um, point of query, actually. Yeah. Um, do you want me to try and keep the um, swears and got language down? No, nope, absolutely not. This is un- uh, this is a R-rated stream. You can say and do whatever Heck. you like. R-rated. <laughs> whoa! whoa, whoa. Uh, this is what? an X-rated stream, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So wonder what. <laughs> wonder what the ten-liter bucket of lube was outside. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get a wonder for long. Oh. Just wait till the first combat. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's only bucket one, baby. Oh, okay, man. this is not the oh. combat resolution Miss Kanako is expecting. <laughs> um, yes, it's three days' journey to the north. We could be back within the week, all being well. Your suitor will be expecting... a bride. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, do that. <laughs> <laughs> you hear from behind you up in the castle, oh, I'm getting married in the morning! <laughs> <sighs> Wait, who, who's she getting married to? Right. Brunhilde's wedding will be here in, in enough time for you to go to the well and back. But there must be a Lady of Merrick here to take her place. I expect to see you return in a week, at which point you will resume your duties for your family. Oh, cool. And then she steps up and she completely ignores everyone. And she comes and gives you a hug. And she Aww. says, I'm, it's really dangerous out there. Just, just come back. And she steps away. Straight into... Yeah. <laughs> sort of carrying a bucket of water. Yeah. Uh, straight bumps into me, water goes all half over me and half over her. <laughs> oh, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> you see I'm carrying some water. Keeper, I found the water you asked for. <laughs> the wells. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Is that all over? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Some peasant has just walked up and thrown a bucket of water on you. <laughs> on me? No. No. On, uh, oh, on Alyssa. Alyssa. That's, oh. that's, that's make a, first impression. That's even better. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you're not, there's almost definitely not any conscious thought involved, but Jorg is already half <laughs> between <laughs> Alyssa and you. Like, it, you don't, like, you're not sure how much conscious thought there was there. You're just like, I'm just going to make sure that this is okay. <laughs> uh, Alyssa turns and she goes, What is happening? Why is this day getting worse? Who are you? Who are you? I am Alyssa of Merrick. I am the regent while my father, the Baron, is at war. This is Iris. <laughs> <laughs> she oh. is my ward. I am glad to know that as you will be leaving my barony for the north, you will take this creature with you, and in fact... All of you will go, and this day will get nothing but better. And she walks over, picks up the mug of beer that you were drinking, <laughs> and takes it as she carries off up into the Great Hall once again. I'm getting... Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Slam! The doors close. <laughs> Leaving you standing in the courtyard. Well, it seems we have an expedition to go on now. We'd better get ready. Can't believe it actually worked. Well done, Iris. Iris, what do you look like? Uh, so, um, a very lithe uh, young young girl, but uh, sort of not lithe, seventeen-ish. Mm-hmm. Uh, but everything about her is designed to try and make her look ordinary and blend into the background. She's wearing she's not wearing any. She's wearing a large cloak, largely off the shoulders, um, and very dark, you know, sort of neutral tones of clothes. That she's not trying to stand out. She's, she's happily hide at the back. Um, this is not 
someone who is trying to take centre stage. As a as a continuation of that, uh, Zoe, uh, we didn't actually get a description. Yeah, right. Yeah, description uh, description as well. So now we're, yes. now the party has been gathered. Freya is wearing a big cloak. Huge. Um, a bit fancier than her station demands, <laughs> uh, and with plenty of extra room for various things to be on the inside. Ah. Got it. Voluminous. Voluminous Indeed. cloak. A cloak of holding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All kinds Long of... Long hair, short? Yes. Uh, I think <clears throat> short hair. Short hair. Um, average height. A bit, a bit tall, a bit 5'9". 5'9"-ish. Graceful uh, as well, as Dexter. Who, yeah, graceful. Graceful uh, slash very confidently holding. Cool. Um, so, yeah, yeah, you guys have been gathered, and um, one of the guys comes up to you, one of the guards who was down there, and he says, um, listen, I, uh, if you need anything from the armory, I mean, most of the things were taken, but I'm sure we can find you a chain shirt and a shield. And uh, some mail and a shield will do me the yep. morning. Uh, he goes off to get it. Uh, you've not really, you've not really fatigued in there, have you? Uh, he looks. Afraid not. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. That's, I'll take the I'll take the necessities and go with it. Um, uh, he returns uh, and he hands you a shield. He's brought a uh, an axe with him, but he sees that you've got one. Got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he Thank takes you. it back. It's all right. Um, your one is nicer than the one he has. He's giving you chain, which will be absolutely serviceable, and a shield, which has, it, again, it will do fine, but it's it's had nicks in it, this shield. This is, you're okay. getting the stuff they left. Mm -hmm. No, no, that's fine. I'd rather take something that's proven to work rather than is shiny and new. Yeah, that's a, that's a good way of looking at it. Um, <laughs> like, I'll, I'll, you know, a couple of, a couple holes, of holes and some rust <laughs> never killed anybody. <laughs> okay. Well, you say that. <laughs> um, I think there are monsters of rust. <laughs> Oh, okay, that. Um, so now, when Yorg uh, is kitted out in his chainmail and shield, with the uh, the shield has the emblem of the Merrick family on it, he looks much more like a soldier. In fact, you go, how would we not have recognised this guy for what he is? I mean, he's still wearing weird garb underneath, but broadly speaking, he looks like a soldier. He also just looks. So so much happier in himself. Just like the transformation is a bit a bit <sighs> surreal. He saw his armor class go off and he went, Yes! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um yeah, you guys have a uh have a journey to head off on and you know where you're going. Yes. It's it's three days travel. The first day will take you to the border of the the border of Merrick. Mm -hmm. And the other two days will take you beyond. <coughs> I imagine you may have been beyond the border of Merrick before. Mm -hmm. Not very often, but... Um, you've definitely been beyond the border of yeah. Merrick, and it sucked. Yep. Freya, I, you, you've never been beyond the... Well, you've never been north of the border of Merrick. Why the fuck would you? It is all wildlands up there. There's crazy magic and loads and loads of scary fantasy tribes. And People Iris? Who won't do what they tell them. That's right. Iris, yeah, have you been north? Um, I'm Into not... the wildlands? Uh, no, no, I've been in the areas of the town. No, don't Great, know. sweet. So you've lived in the areas of the town, um, and you've never been north into the wildlands before, but now you're going, you've been roped in by this uh, this lady who's been looking after you, so... Yeah, it's, it's, it's all fine. Which is good. This lady, is great. Uh, he doesn't make eye contact with you, but... Um, Milady, uh, if I may suggest, um, we probably need some supplies if we're going on a journey north of the border. Indeed. Gather some supplies. <laughs> yes, <we're right. laughs> um, he got some water. Bows, um, salutes, well. and uh, disappears off like to acquire. I basically, some. my explorer's pack, I suppose, is yep. what that looks yeah. like, and <laughs> other people's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you've cool. got, if you've got an X pack as part of your character sheet, <laughs> can that just? I assume that just happens. That's absolutely fine. Joel comes back with some knapsacks and hands them out. Perfect. And you have that. Well, um, you probably already have them. But. I'm, I'm going to 
Iris is really insistent about the bucket of water. So I'm going to go, yes, no, it's very good. It's very mad. Look, it's okay, yes, yours, here yeah. we are. Look, and I'm going to do just a little bit of water Sorry, magic to, to show that yours. this is good water from the well. What, what water magic are you doing? Um, I'm going to do a little bit of shape water. I'm going to bring it. Oh, hi, microphone. That's fine. Um, I'm going to bring that it up been banned for somebody. and out. We're not recording from that mic. Oh, that's it. Yeah. All good. The yep. backup mic. That's right. the backup mic. No, I'm going to, I'm going to do a, um, yeah, you, you guys will see this. Probably. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, shaping over the top of the bucket of water that Iris has, and the water is going to come up and form itself into a sphere and back down in. Very nice. Very good. Good collection. Magic, says Brunhilde from the top of the rampart. Oh, do it again! Do it again! Um, no. I try. <laughs> <laughs> I try with my hands. What spells um, do you know? Uh, shocking grass. <laughs> and I'll be very careful. I'll be very careful. Oh. Oh. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> didn't didn't quite work. Uh, okay, so you gather all your supplies, and uh, do you are you going to wait? It's it's pretty early in the morning. Uh, I say early in the morning. It's probably about nine or ten by now. Um, you made camp and have made your way in, and you are being basically marched straight the fuck back north. Fine. Fine. Uh, I I have a command officer. <laughs> I have orders. It's sweet. It's fine. Like Jorg is happy. Yeah. yeah. A commendable <laughs> attitude. <laughs> Great. Okay. So, uh, Freya, you are ostensibly in charge of this expedition. Do you know exactly where you're going? No. Great. Do you know what you're doing? I don't care. <laughs> Not getting married. <laughs> not getting married to the ass hat is what's, ha- is what's, what's not happening. Well, do we have horses? Um, you, I mean, there are horses around, but you will not be able to requisition four horses. Okay, well, what I am doing is feeling sorry for myself. I'm just trying to take along with these guys. You can probably get a horse. Probably, I was going to say, you probably get a horse. You can probably get a horse, but the stable master, he probably has four horses, mm. but he's not going to give you four horses. Mm. They need those here, and most of the horses were taken down south. I'll take a horse. Yeah? Do you have yeah, a personal horse, a horse, or do you have a... Uh, I Surely you'd have do... a personal Yes. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Sweet. What's the name of your horse? Fidalgo. Fidalgo. Fidalgo is a good name. No, Buttercup is Brunhilde's horse. <laughs> 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 of course it is. Um, why would it have been anything else? Yep. Okay, so Freya and Fidalgo. Uh, Fidalgo loves being out. Um, uh, do you ride frequently? I do, yeah. Okay, cool. So Freya, you see her get in the saddle, and she's she's a natural. She's been riding since she was, I don't know, like three, I guess. You, you know, you've been yeah, yeah. learning from as soon as you were old enough to fit in the saddle. And yeah, Fidalgo's been with you for a while now, and you two are pretty close. So Fidalgo gets on, he's like, yeah, okay, here we go, I'm, I'm, I'm ready, I'm going to be such a good horse. <laughs> um, also, before you get on, I'm just going to adjust the stirrups. They used to get me putting bridles on horses in the village, so oh, yeah, the balance really would have been all off if you'd have put, gone straight onto that horse. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, my lady. Nice. Do you have animal handling? As a fantastic. Um, um, guys, are you driving this? Do you know where we're going? I know where we're going. Okay, there we go. Swell. Yes. So I'm uh, ready to lead the way whenever you are, my lady. <laughs> so uh, Freya gives the word yeah. and well, look. atop the horse that is a Fidago wants to go. So you you start making your way north, and there's a a pretty well worn path uh, because it's just had. Several large contingents of troops marching back along. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have shouldered like a bag of horse food as well. Cool. Like, Joy is currently carrying her pack, his pack, and a pack of horse food. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fair enough. So, yeah, you've got the marching order is uh, Neve, the Lady of the Wells, who is uh, striding forth happily down the road. Uh, and then the, uh, the noble Freya, who is on her horse behind her, Jorg who is laden down <laughs> and uh, I guess bringing up the rear is Iris uh, who do you still have your bucket of, of water tool no, you? I put my bucket of water you put your bucket of water down you've okay, cool. decanted it into skins yeah, yeah so you've all, got, you've all got water skins mm-hmm. um, these are excellent water skins you have taken them specifically from your well um, congratulations you all have um, the equivalent of one healing potion 
Yeah. Uh, this is again, <laughs> some of those from the well. Uh, so, have we each been handed a water skin by you? Right. Yes. Okay. Which come from the very good well water that Iris collected. He did a very good job. Fantastic. Very uh, good job. What what dice flavour of healing potion is this? So uh, this is D4 plus 4 is what this healing potion is going to do for you. It's not a, not a full healing potion, but it's pretty good. Yeah. We have, we have good water Healthening. in these wells. Um, and I'll, I'll, well, I'll take you aside at some point as we're going, and I'll go, and this may also be of benefit to you personally this trip, because as I understand before, it... Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, near this primal well, there is another standing stone. There is. It's about a day north of the of the well. Which I'm sure we can find a way to visit as we go. So you you make your way up north, um, and you make your way up to a small uh, a small town which you figure you're going to spend the night in. It's about a day's ride, and this is a border town. And the border towns are like the old west border town. They are okay. ill-patrolled because it's quite hard to maintain law and order here. They get raided relatively frequently. Mm-hmm. Um, when there are troops fighting, there are garrisons that are used to house dudes, and then they are beacons of law and everything is fine. Mm-hmm. But when, they're, when you're not actively at war with the wildlands and trying to expand your territory, then they become quite lawless places. You know this. And the last time you went through, when you went up, was a very different experience to how it was when you came, uh, when you were coming in this time. And so you come in, and uh, the town that you arrive at is called Hawk. 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 The town of Hawk. And it has, uh, it, it's actually probably got more people um, than Merritt Keep, because Merritt Keep, everybody's just been taken and, yeah. and gone. Um, whereas Hawk's got a, a small town square. Let me see if I can find some better. This is in the Wildlands. Is, uh, you're not quite in the Wildlands. You're, okay. this, is, this is on the border. The border's a bit nebulous. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Um, on the, uh, on the uh, walk up here, uh, York will have pretty much mostly kept to himself and have been whistling probably the same goddamn tune for the last ten goddamn miles. Yep. Just quietly under his breath. What is that song? Marching tune? It's driving me crazy. I'm <laughs> sure it's got lyrics. I'm sure it has. I'm sure I've heard it before. Uh, it absolutely does have lyrics, Mum, but probably not to the company I did. What do you mean? Ah, uh, yeah. Maybe not. I'm sure I know some that are suitable for... Maybe not. <laughs> no, 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 not when you get to the second verse. Ah. No, with that one, it's actually the... Chorus to the theme of three that's really the problem. Of course it is. Um, so. <laughs> not sure about that. That's all a bit crazy. That's fine. I'll find a, I'll, I'll sort my music out for next time. That's alright. Uh, maybe it's not an art. Going to a particularly though. noisy bit of forest. Hmm. How are you doing there? I'm doing really good. <laughs> really good. So he's running for Right, so you no, uh, you turn up in a village. <laughs> <laughs> um, the the biggest building in this village, um, there is you can see that the the village's uh, buildings are dotted all over the place. There's a small stream that runs through here, um, and there's a windmill that uh, runs uh, abreast of the stream, mm-hmm. and there is a, a pretty large tavern. And you arrive as dusk is setting. There's a fog that's rolling over the landscape. Think kind of um, for where you are right now. It, it's actually pretty, pretty um, rural England. That's that's what the that's what it's like. So you've got some areas of woodland, but it's not all gorse and heather and wild scrubland. That's that's further north. Where you are right now is like I don't know, Shropshire. Uh, so there's a, a village with a, a stream windmill tavern uh, there is a blacksmith uh which is far out not quite in the middle of town yeah you can hear it <laughs> right. and uh yeah but most of the music and noise comes from the tavern and you can see that as it's getting late that's where a lot of people are going to go and spend the night mm-hmm. you who've been through here before know that a lot of people spend the night in taverns in these towns just for safety 
uh, a lot of people gathered together and that's in where they... In one well-lit place. In one well-lit yeah, yeah. place. Save on a fire. Uh, mm. Exactly. Um, and they feel good. Mm. So you guys make your way through and you make your way to the tavern as the place to go mm-hmm. to stay and spend the night. And as the night air chills around you, and you open the door, you are immediately met by a glow of warmth and good cheer. These people are making the best of it in a... uh, (laughs) They're making the best of their relative peace, because they know that now the army's fucked off, it's only a matter of time before the wild lands incur again. And then I fucking walk in. Right, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, And then you walk in. Yeah, you are dressed like a soldier, and you see a farmer stand up and go, Ah! One of the Baron's men is here! And... Nice that, and loudly. Is that really loudly. loudly to the rest of the room? <laughs> and, <laughs> and I think you hear a barrel overturn, just like distantly in a back room somewhere. York, York rolls Trap his eyes, shut, but doesn't say anything. <laughs> but you hear, you hear people going, Hooray! And there's some... Three cheers for the Baron, says the bartender. <laughs> hip hip! Hooray! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hooray! Good! And um, <laughs> and he pauses and he says, uh, Am I real, sir? Uh, thank you, which I paid for. Uh, yeah, of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, no, I... No, yeah. If, if he, sorry, if he wasn't offering it for me for free, I still pay for no, it. He, he no, was, he was no, offering no. it for you for free, but he's uh, he's not going to say no to the money. No, um, absolutely. Yeah. And I definitely pay for it. Thank you very much. Um, and, and what can I get you, five bucks? Um, three more. That's it. Three more, certainly. And he goes to pour some more ale. He goes, it's a nasty night out. <laughs> Where have you guys come from? Uh, we've come from Merrick. Oh. You must have set off in the morning. What uh, what brings you up to Hawk? Um. Well. Baron's business. <laughs> um, you lean in and say Baron's business, and you, who were blocked in the doorway by the mighty form of Yorg, uh, are very. I, I mean. How clearly noble are you? I am fairly clearly noble. You are fairly clearly noble. So you lean in and say, Baron's business, and the bartender says, My lady, um, you are most welcome at my humble... Knock that out, knock that out! And he goes and punches one of his uh, patrons, who's currently uh, picking his nose with a knife. (laughs) You're welcome, uh, my lady. My lady, he says <laughs> really loudly. You hear the, the other, the other the trap door in the back. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the fact that I mean, the fact that you're here is great. They're like, oh wow, a soldier, that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Soldiers can defend us. Hooray, we are peasants. Lord Whereas Lord. the noble is here. They're like, oh, that's not great. Nobles mean bad news. <laughs> um, so everyone gets a, a little bit more subdued when they see that you're yeah. you've arrived. Uh, you guys fit. Right in here. Yeah, these these are yeomen and townsfolk of the kind that you have spent your entire lives being among, mm-hmm. and blend in absolutely perfectly. Um, so uh, the you yeah, find a table. I've been around long enough. I probably know some of these people vaguely. I, I dare say you probably do. Mm-hmm. Um, and so you you find a table. It is very quickly emptied for you. Oh. Uh, there were people there, and they move aside the the nice big table by the by the fire. Uh, is emptied and you get to come sit down and mugs of ale are brought round for you and uh, someone comes over a little bit the worse for wear and goes well, which one of you is the baron then huh huh and one of his friends comes over and says get out of it no no I just I just I'm gonna give this baron a piece of my mind an axe is placed on the table and I shall see you, gentlemen, in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> and Axe is taken off the table. And he turns is around that, and goes, Is that Jack Sparrow? <laughs> <laughs> he turns around and goes, he's got, a, he's got a sword. He's got a big sword. And he's definitely an Axe. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> he's just three sheets to the wind. Um, the barkeep comes over and says, um, we, We've got uh, a mutton stew. If that's yeah, that will do. Uh, and he brings out four portions of uh, hot mutton stew. Mm. He will not let you pay for it this time. Okay. Uh, you try, and there's a noble person here, and you don't make noble people See, pay for shit because This is why the no- the nobility stay rich because nobody <coughs> lets them pay for anything. <coughs> 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 
No, it that's, is one of the benefits. Yeah, <laughs> that is how spending money works. Yeah. So, uh, the evening carries on for a while, and um, the fire slowly dies down, and the noise in the tavern um, decreases. People are interested in what you guys are doing here. Um, you see that there's a, and you you also notice that you are on a border town, and so there's quite a lot of fantasy races represented here, which you just would not find further down south. Um, there's a couple of Dragonborn mm. who are. Um, the Dragonborn are relatively well integrated. Dragonborn are, really, mm. are relatively well integrated. There's a couple of um, bright blue Dragonborn who are sat in there playing a, uh, a game on um, one of the tables. Color coded for your convenience. That's right. Mm. Uh, ah, blue, I see. No, sorry, I haven't got the resistance charms for you. <laughs> Bring me your red Dragonborn friend. Him I shall fight. Uh, so, yeah, there's a couple of Dragonborn who are uh, playing a thing. There's an old man who's smoking a pipe in the corner of the room. He's got a big <laughs> cloak up and he goes, I look too much like a quest giver to come and speak to you. For an explanation. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and so he's sat there puffing away on some stuff. And uh, there's a there's a halfling bard who is um, wandering around table to table, offering a couple of stories for a copper piece, going, oh, I'll tell you some jokes. Would you, would you like a song? Can I entertain you? And he's, yeah, so he's, he's just playing his trade and, Everybody seems to know everybody here. This is a pretty small town. There's maybe 30 people in the tavern, and that's everybody that lives here. And uh, more or less everybody that lives here. But the night is the night is wearing on. Is anybody in here, um, uh, in a spare moment, mostly of you? Mm-hmm. Um, as far as Yorg is concerned, he is very much on duty. Um, but if he gets his... Calm down, soldier. <laughs> uh, yes, my lady. As far as Yorg is concerned, he's still very much on <laughs> Um But he will take a moment to ask the barkeep if um, anybody has a, uh, a pipe and some pipe weed. A pipe and some pipe weed? Uh, the bartender, uh, he says, I'd, um, you know what, uh, Tamsin's usually good for it. Okay. And uh, he points some Tamsin's the, har- the halfling bard. Mm-hmm. And um, um, I will also, does that have any, like, uh, I will drop some coins on the, the counter this is for the stew. She might be a noble, but you still need the money. So take the money and just call it quits. Right. <coughs> he scrapes it off the yep. uh, counter. He says, uh, I, uh, I'm glad that men such as you are serving. It does me proud to know that there are decent folk who, yeah, thanks. <laughs> he skips the money and he takes it. Um, Tamsin. Um, Don't blow smoke up my ass. Yeah, yeah. I'm very good at blowing smoke up people's ass. <laughs> don't, don't blow smoke up mine. Um, <laughs> sorry, you with the quality, he says. Uh, Tamsin turns up at your table uh, mm. while Yorg is over at the bartender. He pointed at the halfling who's come over and he says, uh, a lovely song for the lovely lady. Ding, ding, ding. Anything you like. How about, uh, oh, I don't know, my, my, my blue-eyed orc. Can you play Over the Hill and Far Away? Uh, what? Could, could Thanks, you, you jackass. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting that he went to you and not to Freya. Um, yeah, that's, no, because, he's that's because he's sensible and knows what trouble looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Says York as he looms up behind this guy. So, what is it, half maybe? It's a half thing, yeah. Right, so, yeah. Oh, you, like, you, are, you are more than three twice foot, this guy's height. Three foot above him. Um, it's because um. he knows trouble when he sees, uh, uh, when he sees it, and uh, hitting on nobles is a bad idea. What, you're a noble? Well, why didn't you say so? Mm-hmm. And he comes over. You were clearly a noble. <laughs> um, are you off on daring do an adventure? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> are you looking for highfalutin romance? Ding, 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 ding. He stops under uh, the withering glare of Yorg. No, no, no. Yorg, Yorg doesn't have a withering glare. <laughs> mostly because Yorg is currently still behind him. But Yorg is side eyeing Freya to see what she wants to happen from mm. this. We want an adventure. An adventure, you don't say? What kind of adventure? The kind with desperate mysteries? The kind with. Dare and heroics, the kind with dashing damsels and beautiful heroes. We're going to clear out a well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. when you put it like that, it doesn't sound very heroic, does it? 
Well, no, he says, and then he uh, puts down the loot. He says, You should come with us, Bard. You could chart it as one of your epic poems. It's an adventure you'll almost certainly survive. <laughs> what a sales pitch. <laughs> come with us, you'll probably live. <laughs> almost certainly. What are you not telling us? <laughs> Amazing. Uh, You've been north of the border. Yeah, this yes. Yeah, no, that's a very good point. Um, yeah. this, well, I would love to come and risk my life to clear out a well, but on second thoughts, I wouldn't. <laughs> he said, I wish you the best of luck with that. And he turns and he goes over to another table. Uh, before you go, Merrick, um, apparently you've got pipes and weed. Ah, sure. And he uh, leans in and he uh, hands you a pouch of weed. Nothing exciting, just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, says, I oh, you can get that from anywhere. I like my yeah, but I like my sense of humour. Uh, I've talked to some coin. Um, uh, oh. I've passed some coin rather than not. I don't That's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, he 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 <laughs> takes, he takes the coin. Take one fully. plus four. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What a great improvised weapon, death. <laughs> um. So yeah, he takes the money and he turns and he goes, oh well, just for that. And he does you a, um, a a poem that you all know. Uh, it's a it's a famous uh, Browser poem about a uh, a group of heroes who went and <laughs> stomped on some lizard folk. Basically, it's <laughs> and they went and they killed the lizard folk, and it was great. <laughs> and it's it's I mean Browser poetry is really very uh, Wagnerian and triumphalist. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. it's very much we are the best and everything is good. But he starts and everyone joins in. The whole tavern joins in with the... Mm -hmm. There's a familiar refrain. And it lasts for about five minutes, but that's because it's a big, chanty song. And he says, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, at the end of it, and gets a small round of applause. Bjorn nods appreciatively, having packed his pipe while he's tapping it, uh, and steps outside and leads the dwarven light up. Okay, cool. Um, The tavern winds down for the evening. Um... Eventually, even Townsend the Bard um, has packed it in, and the bartender says, um, I'm afraid it's the floor tonight. That's all we have. Mm. But of course, you, you, can, you can have my bed. And he goes, <laughs> and he goes, uh, <laughs> very graceful of you. And his, his husband comes over and says, Oh, Oh, just like that. Just, <laughs> just like that. And he turns and says, yeah, just like that. It's a noble. This is a, one of the ladies of merit. I'm going to wink at his husband. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, he turns and looks at you and gives you, like, the most sass you've ever had. <laughs> and he goes, my lady. And turns <laughs> and, <laughs> and, turns and uh, finds himself a little narrow patch of floor. His husband comes over and he says, no, no, no room here. <laughs> <laughs> so the barkeeper. Okay. Oh. Um, so apart from the minor domestic spat that's happening, um, uh, you have a bed. It is not a great bed, but it is a bed. It is a bed. padded with straw and has actually uh, a pillow, which is, you know, um, um. yeah, is an item of, of relative luxury. Jorg is probably already asleep. York has just propped himself up into a corner. You're not entirely sure how, but he's managed to just Could secure you? himself in a corner and then has just gone, oh, no. No, he very much hasn't. Sorry. He's oh. sleeping in armour. Um, no, he's not sleeping in armour. He's not, he's not done. But um, before that, he goes up to you. Mm. Um, do you have um, anything that can have a nice look? Sleep, he said. Um, I got a dream yeah. sleep. Oh, well, at that point you're talking wizard's business, but um. I but yes. <laughs> <laughs> um. What these things? <laughs> uh, make me a medicine check. Uh, yes, I will. Um, do I have a thing for that? I do. So what does that give me? That gives me an. Give you plus two on top of your stats. <laughs> Lovely. So it's plus five. I should write that down. Hang on one moment. One moment, please. There we go. Buffering. Okay. <laughs> Twenty. Natural or total? No. Total. Okay, yeah. So you, um, uh, on a 20, you actually have these herbs uh, with you. It's just a tea. That's all it yeah, is. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be a little, uh, like a chamomile spiced tea <laughs> mm-hmm. that you put together. 
Um, you uh, heat up some water over the embers of the fire, mm-hmm. and uh, you are handed a frothing mug. Oh, okay. Um, before you go, mm-hmm. I have to ask. Yeah, probably do. Well. No. Were you witness to this? <laughs> no, no, I don't. So how, how's Iris going on? What's she been up to? Uh, uh, going to make sure the horses are all right. Oh. Not tied up outside with the horse. Mm. Pony. Um. <laughs> yeah, this this inn has a small stables, and yeah. since there's not many horses here, they've been uh, tied up. There's a little, there is a uh, a, a groom. It's it's uh, it's a kid. Mm-hmm. And she, um, she nods and smiles at you as you come in. She says, hi. Hi, I'm just going to make sure the horses are. Oh, is this one yours? Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he lovely? She. Fidelgo. Fidelgo. Sorry, I, Iris has said she. <laughs> okay. Iris said, yeah, correct. Yeah. No, no, Iris has said she. That doesn't mean. <laughs> no, Iris, Iris is. Iris is. Oh, okay. okay, so you say she, and she goes, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Oh, no, yeah. sorry. We're playing this for last. <laughs> and. If you know what gender a horse is, no, no, yeah, yeah. Horse is. and uh, well, you, you definitely know what gender this horse is because you are um, you're capable of identifying that it's not buckled tightly enough. <laughs> and so you come and um, you help rub it down, and she says, uh, "I'm I'm Karis. What's your name?" Iris. Iris. Hello. Uh, wh- I haven't seen you around here before. Uh, we're from a few villages over. She looks at your eyes, but. Uh, sparkling and green and by sparkling I mean they are they are literally sparkling and she goes when you say a few villages over do you mean a few villages north um no oh <laughs> okay that's, that's right yeah yeah, yeah yeah absolutely yeah yeah but she's she's like oh my god it's an elf are you uh, are you from the north um no to the south Halfway between here and the. Uh, what, what, what have you come up here for? She says, brushing down. Oh, uh, something about dirty water. Dirty water. Oh, boy, I hope there isn't any. Uh, There's a um, a chill wind that comes in, and the fire gutters inside, and the horses uh, neigh and whinny a little okay, bit. I'll get another blanket and put it on the horse. Um, and yeah, you help put the horses to bed, and Karis uh, is. Nonson is really appreciative. Says, oh, "Thank you very much," and offers you a, a one of a bit of her pipe. All right. Um, but she takes it. She says, oh, "Thank you. I'll uh, I'll see you tomorrow." Um, and she heads off to bed. You guys bed down for the evening. And I need to sort this music out. I need a better solution than the music file I have. Well, we're at you know, quarter past nine now. We're at quarter past nine now. Okay, so. Um, We'll, well, I'll take a break in a bit. Um, you guys bed down for the evening, and in the early, early hours of the morning, at about four in the morning, um, the door to the tavern is kicked open, and the wind is roaring. There's a the thundering of rain coming down, and you guys who are all asleep downstairs, except for you who are asleep upstairs, uh, everybody's woken by this. Mm. And uh, Frey, you look out of the window at the sheeting rain um, that has come in, and the ground is slick with mud, and there is standing a figure with a arrow in his side, and he's clutching the doorpost, and he says, "Help! Help!" So That's York was probably stood and has a weapon drawn quite quickly as a, a door is getting sorry. Is anybody mm. else, or am I okay? No, no, yeah, yeah. You're, you're almost, certainly, you're the almost yeah. certainly the first. Yorg is up and axe in hand, right up until the point he sees a, a, a wounded man. Um, um, and yeah, yeah. Uh, and I kind of said, um, uh, uh, "Neve, can you come?" Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm there. I am totally the, there. The people are rousing. Me. Yeah, you, you help this guy. Help me carry him in. Make a space. Make a space. He's trying to speak, but he can't speak very much. He's got he's, he's covered in blood. Yeah, um, yeah. And you see the townsfolk stepping aside, and you hear one of them say, 
That's old Rogan. He's the blacksmith. Um, is he all right, Rogan? Are you okay, Rogan? Speak to me. And people make crowding some, in. Make some space, uh, please. Uh, roll me it's, nothing. It's, yeah, you're yeah, big enough. It's, That's it's, fine. It's, yeah, it's not an act of intimidation. No. Attempt. It's just yeah. You say make some space, please, and I would make you roll for intimidate if you were not the person that you um, are. I want to see how bad this wound is. Yes, please. Medicine check. Uh, oh, uh, that is eleven. Eleven. Mm. This guy's in a bad way. Um, he's not. Uh, he, it doesn't look like unless he receives some kind of uh, emergency treatment that he's going to make it. He's probably not going to make. Oh, um, he's the the arrow has gone straight into his chest. It's gone into his lung. Oh god! Um, he needs he needs healing desperately fast. Um, and he says, <coughs> and he coughs, and you see a little bit of blood fleck out over his beard. You're was it? Do something about it. Uh, Who did this to you? He coughs again. Maybe in the best possible way. Um, this but what was, I was just thinking, I don't have any moment. healing spells. You could do. So these are your uh, cantrips. You also get some level one spells. We'll talk about the spells uh, we'll that you have in a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have anything on you that could do any healing? Uh, I can, uh, so uh, I'm. A couple of herbs, but nothing that's going to like fix this. Like we got the water. Yeah, that'll do it. That's yeah. literally what it's for, yeah. Okay. Cool. We got that thing. I'm not saying you have to use it. I'm but saying that that's, but as far that's as, an option. So as, but as far as everybody except possibly you are concerned, this is just it's, regular water. It's water. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't expressed to anybody that. So. Uh, yeah. Um, no. I'll give it a go. I'll give it. A okay. Go, go for it. Uh, you, you don't need to roll. So um, we need to roll me a d4. Yeah. Basically. So need you know what you're doing here. This is this is a bad wound and that you have the supplies. Yep. Okay. Iris. Need. And I'll so gesture. You to need you. him to. Yeah. You need somebody to. Uh, hold his head steady. You need mm -hmm. somebody to hold him down. Mm -hmm. um, um, in that case, Yorg is gonna gonna basically um, hold him down. Uh, okay. And then make an exclamation and lay on hands. Ooh. Oh shit, son! Here we go. Um, like, uh, yeah, where is it? There it is. Uh, for five. Sweet. Amazing. Uh, you see. Yorg, go to hold this um, struggling guy down. As you put hands on him and he's uh, into the uh, the light of the fire, someone has yeah. sparked up the other fire. They've uh, moved the logs around and you've now more yellow light coming into the room. You can see that this is a really thick set, um, uh, a really thick set, short creature. It's a dwarf, um, which are not super common. Uh, you guys have all seen dwarves before, but this is... This is not a, a common sight, and he is uh, trying to move, but you're, you push him down, and you see Yorg's hands glow for a moment. The dim light of the tavern is briefly illuminated brightly by the white light that beams from his fingertips. And he, what, uh, do you exclaim anything in particular? Or is there uh, a... No, it, it's mostly a, it's mostly an in, in fantasy world swear, as um, he looks like for a moment he's in an amount of pain. Okay. Um, and probably immediately after this happens is going to uh, look completely shocked, stagger away from the situation, and then walk out of the tavern. Okay, so Jorg places his hands to push this guy down while you rummage around for your mm -hmm. healing potion. You pull out the flask just in time to see Jorg push down on this guy's shoulders, and the white light infuses into him. This guy glows for a second, and the arrow pushes itself out of his chest and the guy <gasps> and he reaches up and wipes some of the blood from his mouth everyone in the tavern is stunned by what has just happened because they've seen wounds before you don't live on a border town uh -huh. and not see what kind of fatalities there are and this was some actual magic and Jorg is all out eyes of the turn building Jorg is out of the building everyone's um, eyes watch him yes Iris uh, so when I've been been down there, you notice just that I'm, some of you who might be close might hear just five words that I'm saying over and over. Victor, Einir, Than, Sorcia, Sarissa. Okay. Um, five words. Victor, have, Einir, Than, Sorcia, Sarissa. Have I heard you say these before? No. Okay. Amazing. Okay, uh, okay everything's going a bit crazy. <laughs> um, I am going to get out of my noble gear. <laughs> And in the middle of the tavern, I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> in, <laughs> in my She's room. Yeah. <laughs> so, Gray, um, you stop. We're halfway down the stairs. I'm, I'm going to 
Um, pour the the water down this guy's throat. Um, because he's gonna need it. Like. Uh, what you? Oh, uh, make medicine check. Okay. Because like he's got he's got the arrow out, but uh, I am at like uh twenty two. He does not need it. Uh, you were gonna pour, you were gonna use some restorative yeah, magic yeah, yeah. water to to recover this guy and. The restorative magic that you were going to provide has been provided. This guy's wounds have re nicked themselves. His lungs are full. You, you place an ear to his yeah, chest yeah. and you hear that the breathing is is uh, rounded and definitely on both sides. There's no cavity where you'd expect there to be one. You have a look at his back and the wound has sealed up there. This guy is fine now. Right, I'm going to grab him by the shoulders. Who did this to you? What's going on? <laughs> okay, um, Freya, you come down. Dressed as a regular person? Leather armour. In leather armour? Okay, so you're out of your noble's garb and into, into your adventuring kit. Yeah. Um, so as Yorg storms out of the tavern uh, in a slight daze, not certain of exactly what just happened, as Iris repeats five names over and over again, the dwarf sits up and he goes, They got her. They got my best. And we're going to call a break there. <laughs> ah. always best. Okay. Your best is best. <sighs> All right. Um, we're going to take a fifteen-minute break, but we will return. So, uh, yeah, don't go anywhere because we'll be back. Are we? Are we? Are we still? Are we still? Uh, we are still recording. I'm just going to mute us and ah. stay in chat, which I can't do. Yeah. Well. Wait. I was trying to work out when that was going to happen, but. Seems reasonable. The <laughs> Fuck you. Can I have some more squash? Yeah, you can have some more squash. Oh, I've got. Uh, You've got uh, that, so you need a lemon. vessel. Do you need a vessel? Um, I'm good. I've You're all good. I, I, I've brought my own. Did. To bring one vessel and fill another vessel with squash. Is that chat on the right? It is. Oh, we, how we many have people are watching? We have, we have people watching. Oh. Oh. What have they said? What have they said? Uh, full of embarrassment. What wizard has no healing spells? <laughs> Waterboarding with healing. Now he tells us. Yorg or Yorg or Yorg. <laughs> but how are the lungs? I need to know. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, there's chat. Um, again, hey, that's so cool. Are they people we know or are they just randos? Uh, rando Carissa. Rando Carissa. Rando Clown Rubio. Okay, one glass. Squash. I will be back. Thank you. Rando Toothpaste. I will have this better sorted next time. Dude. Look at this, dude. You don't get to poo poo your current setup. Look at this fucking yes, thing. Well, yeah. Thank you. Like, you've got decent lighting, four cameras, um, a map. What more do you like? What, what more do you need? What more do you need? Like, dude, don't, don't poo poo yourself. This is great. Any improvements for here are, are, are amazing. Whoa, sure, the but. technology. Okay. I'm going to crack these if that's all right with you, Josh. I have also just realised that, you know, I've walked out into the night where there might be bad people with no armour and an axe. That's fine. Hey, at least you got the axe. Uh, we're um, we're going to stay unmuted. I think they can just listen to us chat yeah. Yeah, in the middle. Oh, also, I wanted to talk about that fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hello to chat. Um, Hello. If anybody fancies uh, chatting, it looks like we have... Uh, Hi, chat. <laughs> uh, yeah, there is there is chat here. Uh, we need to sort any out from level 1 to level uh, yes, that's fine. Um, I'm going to go for a smoke. That's what I'm going to do in this break. You going for a smoke? I am going for a smoke. You're welcome to try. That's Please. fine. No worries. Um, when Amy returns, would you mind going through the yeah. player's handbook and finding out some level one spells? I'll get the player's handbook, please. Um, I can okay. pass you my... Come on. Right. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. No, uh, actually, one on each side of the table is a good idea. Ooh. <coughs> um, and never mind the expanded spells. It's probably no, just the expanded spells. So I don't need them. That good, huh? 
No, I explain, I explain myself the fine, but I just, frankly, my approach for D&D has always been if you can't run it out of the player's handbook, it, you, what's the point? You, everything should be in the player's handbook so that you can buy one book and play the game, which it is. Mm. Don't be fooled by the Wizards of the Coast. You can play with... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right, okay, so we just have to be really, really careful not to not to do the cameras. Boot. Um, yes. Can you still open it? No. Okay. We'll check where they are. No, I think you are not muted. We are not muted. No, you've yeah. just got a thing up saying we're on a break uh, oh, for oh, chat and stuff. Indeed. Chat will be there. All if right. you guys go to um, twitch.tv forward slash yeah. chrisdm to oh. engage in the chat. Oh, amazing. Cool. I will do that next time. I have like 10% on my phone and I need to oh, navigate no. me home afterwards. So oh, no. I must seclude myself. I can't remember what it was now. Uh, what, are, what are we looking at? We're looking at your spells. Oh yes, yes. Talk to me. Okay. Because I've got all my basic cantrips, but. Yep. So we need to get some level one spells. There is a list here. I'm just looking. Do you know all of them, or do you know some of them? I think I choose some to know. At first level, you know two cantrips of your choice. You learn additional mm-hmm. three cantrips per day. Choose to show common spells, sorts of hair, stuff, all sorts of stuff, common spells, and common spells. Uh, okay. So you prepare. Yeah. An equal uh, a number. You choose four of them. Yeah. Yeah. So you choose four of these level one spells, mm-hmm. and so I think they're pretty clear what they do mm-hmm, in terms. Mm-hmm. Mm. The only difference. So these are two curing ones. Cure wounds cures more, but takes your action in combat. Uh, yes, and I healing remember. Healing word cures less, but it's a mm. bonus action, so you can do that and something else. I've had that on an earlier character. Yeah, I don't want to tread too much on our. Uh, he doesn't get spells until paladin. next level for a start, okay. and he can't have the fast. He can't get healing word. He can get cure wounds, but he can't get healing word. Okay, so it's, I, I'm not. You can see here. Here are the spells that he can get. Okay. So what did he do with lay on hands? That's a class ability. Oh, I see. So how does that? I knew that because he could so, use it. In wow. Yeah, he gets five HP <laughs> per level. So he's level one. So he's got five. He's got a five HP pool of. Uh, health, mm-hmm. which he can with an action touch someone mm-hmm. and transfer as much or as little as he wants. So he can just do one hit point, oh, you're, you're back really on cool. your feet. Oh, that's um, nice. That's and really he nice. just used well, all of it because he's showing the character's not in control of this ability yet. That's really fun. Hmm. They're really cool. I really yeah, like these really ones. Cool. Thank you. Uh, if you want to re- redo the, the, the colour on them. I think it looks amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little bit lower. Um, or no, no, possibly no, like in front of that camera yeah. there. Oh, is this? Oh, yeah. Of uh, course, yeah. that's probably the. I'm going to put yours oh, in there, there as well. Can we have a zoo moment? Well, uh, when, Josh, when Josh is back to do, do his wizardry. That's Man. fine. <laughs> so, what was it? Twitch.tv. Oh, that's Chris DM, I think. Ah, oh, it's a name and a description. <laughs> Hello, um, are, you, are you at home or are you still out? Okay, alright, that's right. I'm going to put the Twitch thing to the right. All of this stuff is confused. Um, no, that's all right. As long as you're okay, I just thought I'd only check. You do. You really do. <laughs> all right. Oh, well, I'll see you on your back, probably. <laughs> okay, I'll speak to you later. Bye. I want to chat, and it does not let me chat. It won't let you chat. That seems right. very mean. Let's go and chat to the channel. Yeah, no, right. Well, we can we can do it here. Um, the noble lady is the rose. The 
Elf yes. is not the rogue. What? They're not no. going to be elf. Yeah, they are. Oh, the elf is like a sorcerer. Hmm. We're not on mute. Stay tuned. Noble by birth, Noble, rogue by choice. Um, yeah, what is your, what is, what's his... Rogue what is, is a paladin. Uh, rogue is a... Yeah, but he's like a paladin in denial. What's, what, what are the names of the two races? The, the bar, oh, he's Browter. B-R-A-U-T-E-R. Browter in our universe is kind of like an uh, upper no, class sorry, yeah. human. Yeah. Beard me noise, hi! Beard me noise has played Browter wizard before. Browter paladin of a, what's the other place called? The other... Uh, uh, oh, well, we are Asami. Asami and Gorg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Noble rogues, sort of Jason Re- Reese mob robbing the poor to feed the rich. <laughs> no, much more attractive uh, than that. Uh, <laughs> the, of the well. And less successful. Hmm. Human druid. Haha, <laughs> we do need a picture of Ross and Rachel for we are How many hundreds of thousands of viewers do we have? Seven. Woo. Hi, seven. Hi, seven. And Hello. Uh, uh, and we right, love Amy. you all. <laughs> spells, Amy, come on. <laughs> you need to use four spells. Spells, yeah, I'll use all the spells. Do I have to write them down? Yeah. But right. they're going to be different every time. There's like a set of spells, spell sheets which you don't have where you, yeah, you just put mm. a little box by. You write down all the spells you know and you just put a little box by the ones you protect. And so you can cast the same one two times. So you've got two slots. You can cast the same one two times, or you can cast two different ones. So Wait, I was distracted by the okay. chat for that last bit. You have okay. to tell me again. So you're going to pick four of these. Yep. And you can cast the same one twice. Okay. Or that one first, and then that one a different time. Wait, but why am I choosing four? Because you, you don't know what's going to happen during the day. Okay, but then I only get to use two as a maximum. Correct. Mm-hmm. But you can use the same one twice if you want. Okay. Oh, There's nothing wrong with that. Popcorn at me. Thank you. Um, okay. Uh, now, fairy fire is pretty cool. Yep. Um, you make sparkly things appear. Mm-hmm. You can see and it makes stuff. everybody better. Yep. Um, Gives everyone advantage, which is particularly good for the rogue who gets bonuses when they have advantage. Mm-hmm. Um, right. Let's see. Can I be on the chat? Oh, my, my phone cannot deal with this. We are unable to connect to the chat. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, my phone can't connect to the chat either. I think we might need some sort of app in order to chat properly. I think that camera has moved slightly. Well, no, I keep knocking. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think it. I think it's gone. You know what? We're not going to touch that. <laughs> that is that is Problem for Josh for to deal time. with. Yeah. Okay. So fairy fire. Write it down somewhere. Fairy okay. fire. Fairy fire is good. Uh, there's a really fluffy one for you, which is uh, create or destroy water. Because then you can shape yeah, water. Yeah, yeah, I know. So if you right. go, there's no water here. I want to do my shapey water thing. You I go, well, know, now I shall I make water. Know and you're then I right. Just like a pro water. water. <clears throat> yeah. Um, a watermancy you are. Um, so good for he can pr- uh, produce healing berries. <laughs> Tom has said that I have taken control of Johnny's Twitch account like a vile cordyceps. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. It's amazing. And Tom yeah. plays oh, with Molson. So someone has said, by the way, the volume of talk is good. Hooray! So, that's, good. Uh, that's good. Maybe your laptop is just terrible. Um, <laughs> I feel a bit weird that the people watching oh, probably watching know more the about D and D than I do. That's okay. It's fine. This is a really good way to learn. Yeah. Yep. Uh, learn by uh, doing so. so. Watch me screw with the bees, Alter conceal us. It's fine. Oh, you look, Josh, and I'm going to do what was the one that I was that was better after angles. cure wounds and um, uh, so words, that's the fast it one. Hurts. Healing word is yeah, a fast so one, but not a strong. Uh, cure wounds is the whole action, but heals more. Also, you've got twelve ablative hit points when you're in most I'll trouble. So try it. Okay. Indeed. I'm feeling quite. Um, then, if you wanted an attacky one, the Thunder Wave is your best attacky one. No, I've got a shillelagh. I'm okay. Fine. I want to hit people with my shillelagh. So, what else do you want to do? 
Long, um, long stride and have a couple of big journeys. Some point I'll, I'll do Fog Cloud. I'll do Fog Cloud. Fog Cloud's great. Right. You, 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 you so really I can choose, are you can choose two, of two of those in per, the whole, per day. In the whole adventure. Per day. Oh, per day. Every time you sleep, you can choose a different four and, and you get all your spells back. Right. right. So uh, I think we're probably good to. Okay, I'm just going to get a few notes for Amy on Fog Cloud. And so, so I'll let you know what these do. Oh, the chat's marvellous. Healing word. You Healing guys words. are the best. <laughs> I'm also just going to gently clear this battle map because you know. Yeah. Not, uh, not no, nothing that's going to happen. Is not that it's almost definitely going to be a three. thing happening in a second, but I'm just going to yep. clear the battle map. So, so healing word reason. heals D4 plus three because that's your spell. We just need modifier. to go over and take yeah. over the blacksmith. Um, and that'll be the next time. That's, that's a bonus action. Learning how to mm -hmm. do, do blacksmith. Yeah, uh, all things. the others are actions. In Create or destroy water. All right, guys, we are going to. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We're just doing some admin. All right. We are very nearly back from break. <laughs> <laughs> I will set up a we are on a break screen for mm. Ross and Rachel. Yeah, they want Ross and Rachel. They want Ross and Rachel. Yeah. <laughs> we were on a break. <laughs> uh, Why can I not spell? I'm gonna Why are there so many COs? Mm. Create or destroy water. Uh, you can get ten gallons so says we or a thirty foot cube. What if they accidentally treat our kidney disorders and make sexual problems? I have no idea what a cordyceps is. Okay. I have even so less of an idea. Water, how much can you do? Water. Ten gallons. This is ten not gallons. the kind of information I was expecting. Uh, you can Twitch get it to chat. rain in a thirty <laughs> foot cube. Thanks, so chat. Thirty foot by thirty foot. <laughs> chat. The more you know, and knowing is half the battle. Understand. The other half is lazy. Yep, thirty <laughs> foot cube is not thirty feet squared. Uh, 30 foot cube Cubes. is 30 foot by 30 foot by 30 foot, foot, by 30 foot, yeah. by 30 foot yeah. which is yeah. a, a lot. Yeah. A lot. 270 <laughs> foot. It's also it's really important. Feet. One, many of the, feet. one of the really <laughs> silly things that DMV used to do is <coughs> fireball used to take up a certain cubic footage of space. Uh, okay, fog cloud. Which meant that using the fireball indoors. If the door on the opposite side of the small room held was really bad. I because know. everybody. It, you went, ah, oh, it takes fun. up 200 cubic feet of space. It's like, oh, there's only 10 this cubic feet here. It's like, well, then you will take it yet. 20 <laughs> times. <laughs> <laughs> and that's kind of realistic. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is D&D. Let's, let's put that R word away here. <laughs> okay. Um, we're, um, you guys uh, are just sorting out spells. Very far is a target. No, it's everything in an in a, in a area, isn't it? Yeah. Very far is one thing. Oh no, it's a scenario. It's, it's everything. Yeah. Yeah. 20, 20 foot cube. So Very fire is a great one spell. Uh, it, Marker lights. <laughs> yeah. So you can see stuff if they then move, so yeah. it's invisible and it gives you like, does, does it do Fabulous. anything yeah. mechanically? Yeah, so yes. you do fairy fire at someone and it goes blam. <laughs> they are lit up and then for the rest of. Um, so it creates for, light. Until you lose concentration on it, they glow and everyone gets advantage to beat them up. Advantage, mm. okay. Yeah. Advantage on one target. Uh, no, on everything that fails is safe. That 20. Yeah, it's awesome. Fairy fire is the best. <coughs> okay, oh, advantage yeah. on all targets within. What say is it, Dex? Um, uh, well, I don't know. Doesn't matter. Yeah, well, why? These guys will. Oh, I mean, that's not good. Yes, it might. Okay. It might. It might matter. Uh, fairy fire is a Dex save. So put Dex save afterwards. Dex save. That's what. If they fail that, they get that effect. Ma'am, I need like a book of. Spells. Spells. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll <laughs> sort that out. Okay, that's a book of spells. I'll make a list. All right, are we ready to go? Yep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fan. The chat is great. Fantastic. Mm. Okay, we're back. We're in. I'm, I'm putting this down. Um, so you... We resume. Um, the Dwarven Blacksmith. They took my best. Uh, and he coughs again. What? I thought I was done for. What's Bess? I was Bess and my daughter. What? They took her. No, we gotta go. We gotta find them. What? Who's they? Who? The. Then he holds the arrow and he says, <laughs> "Those goblins, are not just goblins. They have a thing with them. The biggest thing I've ever seen." And he uh, points back out. There's a, <laughs> and uh, in the brief flash of lightning, it illuminates the lone figure of Yorg, who is standing <laughs> in the rain, uh, looking at his hands. <laughs> Freya rejoins you, and she looks very different now. Gone is the well-groomed, well-coiffured, perfumed noblewoman, and in its place is a. Uh, describe what your character looks like now. Um, understated, uh, archer. 
Much more thing. sensible. <laughs> I approve. Mm. I do me. approve. <laughs> Excellent. Honestly, quite dirty as well. Like the complete opposite. Not you've, really. you've got pots of dirt. <laughs> Scuffed up a bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, you've got. A, you're good at disguising yeah. yourself, right? Yeah. Mm. So, uh, so this is this is a huge transformation. In fact, um, make me a dis- roll with your disguise kit, please. Um, so roll a d20. I suppose the, the question here is, are you attempting what, to be uh, not the person that that in here, or are you just attempting to be it? that person uh, it's, in some different place? Uh, uh, yeah, it's, it, it's plus, you're proficient in disguise kit, so it's just roll me... <gasps> but the, the main question is, is she attempting to appear to be somebody different, or is she just oh, gearing no. up to fight people? Okay, cool. So I failed at it, wasn't it? You did, well, yeah, so the point is that everybody, you walk down and everybody goes, ooh, and you see there's a reassessment in the room as the peasantry looks and goes wow okay this is a noble who can actually handle themselves and is dressing sensibly you know you're not going in filigreed armor you've gone no i'm going to get on my leathers and my uh, get my long bow or whatever what bow do you short have bow. short bow sweet and uh york um york um after like a minute or so of hyperventilating in the rain um Jorg is going to set himself um, and come back in scrupulously making eye contact with no one. Uh, walk over to where his stuff was and fold his mail uh, over his head. Uh, reset his his gear, do his belt up, uh, put a shield, set that on his arm, heft up a bit. Um, uh, and I would imagine possibly turn back to a room who are almost entirely all looking at him. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's looking at you. Are you all right, York? My lady, what are yours? This sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> Goblins it is. Would you two York wish space, to go York space does a thing where you say this looks <laughs> like fun. <clears throat> um... As there's definitely a mental process that he doesn't vocalise. <laughs> You're all my lady. Uh, what was the dwarf's name? Uh, oh, Rogan. Rogan, which way to your mission? Um, he gets up and he's surprised at how easy he can move. He points and you see that uh, his smithy is over on a hill. It's, it's actually quite a way away. And it must have right. taken this guy a long... like. Oh man, with an arrow. With an arrow in hand. You guys have, uh, frankly, well done, Rogan. yeah, slightly impressed. This guy has dragged himself across half the town at the speed that he could move was not a great one. And he says, "Just up that way. It's up that way. I'll lead the way." And he, um, he, sorry, dwarves are American in my setting. Um, so I, 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 he goes, "I'll lead the way," and he uh, starts clomping along. And uh, amazing. Yeah, he's. He's got a. <laughs> Thanks, music. He's got a, a good uh, a good pace to him, mm, okay. um, uh, which is uh, unusual for a dwarf. But he he's clearly determined and he's sprinting as fast as he can. Mm-hmm. Um, the rain is falling really quite thickly now and obscuring vision. You can just about see where his smithy is because um, it's lit up every now and again by intermittent flashes of lightning. But the ground underfoot is becoming slick and treacherous with mud. So he uh, hustles and barrels his way and he shouts, Bess! Bess! <sighs> They've taken her. And he uh, uh, heads inside his smithy. His smithy is a, a small round hut with a large square stone building on the other side, um, which is the, it's got the forge and then the, his living area and where he does all his work. And you can see that the place has clearly been abandoned. Um, the back door has been kicked in and uh, yeah, there's no sign of that. Like kicked in as in by a boot or torn off its hinges by a monster? Uh, it has been it, it has been torn. You can see that actually the hinges are still attached, but the, the door whole itself- The door frame is gone. The, yeah. uh, well, no, the door has been split. Like the door has smashed in. Wow, okay. Um, so this is something that hasn't got the sense to go for locks and bolts. Um, and enough strength not to need to go for locks and bolts. Um, um, Rogan is still running around looking frantically. I mean, it's clear that there's nobody here, but he's checking. Uh, York goes out the back door and tries to get a, a 
feel for the number of creatures that came through and where they had gone. Survival check, please. Uh, exactly what they're for. Uh, we have a survival of 11. Uh, 11. Cool. Uh, you can see number of creatures, you're not sure. Okay. Um, but it's thick mud and it has been raining quite heavily, so there are tracks that are led away. Yeah. Um, and you can clearly see the direction that they have come in. And they are heading, they seem to be heading back in the same direction. They are heading back in the same direction. Uh, in fact, you can you can see some of the creatures' imprints were headed in, and then the vast majority have gone over them and are heading out again. Um, up to the nearby woods or something, I would assume. It is indeed. They are heading almost directly north. Um, my lady so seems to have headed north from here. Do you know how many there were? Uh, on the 11... No, no. no. To, to oh, yeah. Do uh, you know how many there were? I heard the door, the door go. So I uh, came a-running down. I brought my hammer. And you can see that his smith's hammer had been dropped by the door. Mm. I just saw uh, something huge. And then this one missed me. And he points at an arrow that's wedged in the door frame. And the other one got me in the chest. Last thing I knew before I blacked out, they were taking my bets. I come to, I don't know how long ago, I made my way straight down to the tavern. Something that big shouldn't be too hard to follow. Mm. Um, York will pick up the Smith's hammer and hand it to. Uh, you should go down to the. You should go down to the tavern and see check the people in there. You'll go and find them. We will not allow her. You, you literally hear the sigh from <laughs> your um, He doesn't say anything, but there's just a... Um, okay. He nods at you. <laughs> says, uh... He makes a sign. Uh, you recognise it. This is the sign of the protective horn. And it means... Yeah, well, that's what it is. Uh, <laughs> it's the sign of the protective horn. And it basically means uh, either... If people do it for one or two reasons, they either do it going... Fuck me, it's like crossing yourself. Or they do it going uh, as a as a blessing, and he invokes it that way, and he says, uh, "Well, safe travels, bring her home." And he uh, heads down to the tavern, uh, he grabs a pack, and heads down to bar the door of the tavern. Uh, yeah, you guys are here. The rain is really hammering now. <laughs> well, we should get moving. The rain's coming. Head out. Out. <laughs> All right. So we head into the forest. Mm, all the matches have got hooks. Apart from York. He doesn't need it. Oh, just man's on through. <laughs> and goes, I am really wet now. I wish I had a hood. <laughs> um, Crumb doesn't actually, like, head movement and the ability to move unimpeded is really important. Peripheral vision. Um, and with how, so with how much it's raining, he's probably did, he probably left his cloak in the tavern because at this point it's just a heavy thing. It, it'll just be a heavy thing by the time we get to fighting anything. Cool. Yeah, with his brow bone, he's not getting rid of spring aside. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Uh, amazing. So you guys uh, head north following the tracks. They are... Yeah, they're, they're leading... You're, you, you didn't roll an amazing survival roll, but you can see that they are clearly marking a furrow through the mud. They're but also not trying to conceal their tracks. They're also totally not trying to conceal their tracks. They don't care. They haven't made any effort to do so, uh, but you don't know how many they are, and you can't actually identify um, what... Oh, no, that's not true. Make me a history check, please, Yorg. Um... Only an eight, probably not. No. Only an eight. Uh, eight is fine for this. You identify, but uh, you get the basic information. The arrow is goblin mate. Goblins uh, make mean arrows. They certainly do. Um, in fact, uh, you see that the arrow has a little hook, a uh, little barb to make it uh, difficult to withdraw. Mm. Because goblins are fuckers like that. Um, but yeah, you you identify that. Um. Cool. I will. I'll take in the lead, I guess, at this stage if I'm the person tracking things, and then we'll go from there. Sweet. Um, you make your way, and you see that the tracks uh, head off. We've all got weapons out, right? Yeah, I've got my shillelagh. Y- York's had his weapon out since the since mm. the tavern, but Chef's bow. You've got a crossbow. Nope, my bow's on my back. Okay. Ah. Crossbow's normally slung across the back. You see that the uh, the tracks lead north uh, to the woods, and the woods are at the top of a hill. 
and so you start making your way up the hill towards the woods, and <coughs> there is a whistling arrow that comes towards you. And uh, Amy, what's your armor class, please? Uh, my armor class is thirteen. Ah, <laughs> would you like to be critically hit? Oh no, not really. <laughs> can I can I choose not to? <laughs> I'm sorry. That, was, that wasn't what I intended to do. I literally had this issue before. Huh. It's going to be initiative. That's it. Hope, We're all going to die now. GPK, Jack my goblins. I hope nobody, hope nobody in chat was attached to these characters. We're going to do some uh, can everyone, rolling off of this. Can I have everyone's hit point totals and armor class before we start, please? Ooh, uh, Hit point totals and armor class. That's correct. Okay. Uh, I'm 13 for armor class and I'm 11 for hit points. Uh, 13 and 11. Good. <laughs> I am a king. Uh, twelve and eight. Uh, twelve and eight for Iris. Lovely. Armor class is fourteen. And hit points is ten. Ah, oh, level one characters. Mm -hmm. uh, you no, We uh, knew you well. Sixteen, eighteen with a shield. Uh, sixteen, eighteen. So you've got your shield out. Yeah, I, I have. I have my shield. Uh, it's been out since. That's fine. Eighteen, and how was your hit points? Uh, I have twelve hit points and DR three versus. Not magic. Uh, bashing, slashing, and piercing with not magic. Yeah, which is going to be everything. Uh, I, I really hope so, but or this 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 feat is not what it was cropped up to be. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, Neve, would you like? I'm really sorry. Uh, would you like to take yourself ten points of damage? No. Yep, didn't no. think so. <laughs> no, I really wouldn't like to take ten points. You still of have damage. a hit point. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, a goblin crits you. <laughs> well, fuck sticks. Where did that arrow come from? Uh, the arrow came from up north. Uh, uh, it's going to be initiative from everybody. Yeah, no, no, for sure. What's our surroundings like? Are we in the woods? Are no, we so you are, you are uh, uh, heading up. Yeah, I'm going to just do it right now. So, um, the rain is going to make heading up the hill treacherous. Um, there is a gradual incline. I'm going to do it. It is raining, yes. Although, unfortunately, your water mage is dead. No, you're not dead. dead. She's pretty dead. You're, you're not dead. dead. She's been shot in the face. <laughs> you're not dead. That's set the mass, not eye patch for that. Okay, so these are, these are the, um, Who was in the, face contour, you'd be talking the contour lines of the hill. <laughs> oh, you should, you should put it up on the But you're heading up, yes, cool. indeed. Uh, these are the contour lines of the hill. Down, 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 down. And the forest proper starts here. This is the tree line. Um, I understand that the battle map is a bit laggy, but that's just what it is. Uh, you guys, can you please place yourselves uh, somewhere uh, down here? And you can see on the top uh, contour line... You're of not down! You're not it. Uh, you're fine. I, I would have been in the front. I'll um, be on one side. That's fine. You're, you're all somewhere. You're not quite at the first uh, contour line of the hill. <laughs> Hi, Iris. And you can see that standing eight hit points. What do you want? on the top of this hill here... There are a pair of goblin archers. They've got pointy hats. They do. Quick question. Yes. Are they goblins wizards as well? sentient? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Are they wizards as well? Um, uh, they they're, they're not pointy hats. Super yeah, smart. Pointy hats. But they are clearly, they have language and culture. And uh, yeah. If you can call it that. They, <laughs> Sorry. They, they, they do. Wow. <laughs> yes, they have language and culture and stuff. However, um, you are totally justified in killing these guys if they are attacking you with arrows. That seems like a reasonable response. Um, sure, I understand your viewpoint. That's fine. Mm. Yeah, uh, you are you are welcome to approach this however the hell you would like. But yeah, um, you've been shot at by goblins. Yeah, your your leader, like who has helped you through your religious crisis, has just taken an arrow to the face. Speaking of initiative, from everybody, please. Nine. So well Nine. That's a good number. Would you roll? Nine. A ten. Then my, oh, sorry. Um, you roll a d twenty and add that number. <laughs> Oh, good, guys. <laughs> 11. Oh, 11. Who got 10? No one. Oh, okay. You I got mean, 11. I rolled a 10, and then my duff, uh, duff dexterity oh. pulled down a bit. Who got the 8? Frey got the 8. No, I'm... Uh, well, I rolled an 8. I got 11. Oh, you got 11, 11 to 11, I got the 8. Uh, 11, 9, 8, and Amy was... 9. Nine. Oh, right. So you two can choose whichever way around you uh, I'm nine. pretty sure that you've got a better dex than me, Amy. Um, probably. <laughs> almost certainly. Okay. I am dex plus two. Yeah, in that um, case, you're definitely going first out of the us. Although, also, arrow to the face. <laughs> mm. There's another crash of lightning, and uh, you see one of the goblins knock a bow and uh, draw and fire at you. Uh, it's going to be 
this guy who's going to take a step to here uh, and he's going to fire at uh, this guy right here. Yeah. Uh, and he's going to say, does a uh, an 18 actually hit you? An 18 actually hits me. Wow. Yeah. Um, and he's going to hit you for three points of damage, which you ignore. Um, Glances you guys, off the mail. Uh, you yeah. see the goblin screeches something. None of you speak goblin, right? Mm. Uh, no. no. Great. The goblin screeches something and fires one of these black-tipped arrows like mm. you have seen before. These arrows have nasty flights, and it uh, it glances off of the uh, the border of your buckler and goes. Ting! You see, Jorg, in fact, instinctively reacted, uh, instinctively reacted, and raised his shield in time to deflect the arrow. Um, Freya, you're up. I. Jorg, you're on deck. I'm yeah. going to draw my bow. You're going next. Oh, I'm going next. Draw my bow. Yep. And fire at. Uh, the one who I would think will be the one who hit me, which will probably be the other Go one. Go for it. Uh, so that's a d20, which is uh, you're going to do everything. Nine. <laughs> Nine plus what? What am I adding? Dex X. Your dex bonus plus your proficiency Nine. bonus. Twelve. Your proficiency bonus is always plus two uh, at the moment. Then it yeah. will be spent forever. Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, 14? Uh, yeah, 14 is enough to hit this goblin. Oh, uh, sorry, you are uh, you are at minus two because you are firing in the wind and the rain and everything's terrible. 12 yeah. is still enough to hit this goblin. Yeah. Okay. Um, so damage is um, one, two, six plus three, I think, for your... Because it's had dex, isn't it, these days? Say again? Uh, damage for both is had dex. Yes, so that's right there. Yeah, so it's six. Uh, six, uh, six damage to this goblin. And uh, he does not enjoy that. Uh, he takes six oh. points of damage. Two. So um, yeah, you, you launch a flight and you, you hold off for launching just for a second because you feel the gust of wind coming. So you lean into it and adjust and the arrow curves around and uh, yeah, you see it grazes past the side of this goblin's tall hat and he turns and looks and goes, <laughs> and he bares his teeth at you. I'm gonna go, <laughs> 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 Your um, Your takes, Brief second to make sure that you're not on the deck, uh, at which point priority shifts to him raising his shield um, and starting to slog up the hill, smashing his axe into his shield on the way up. Oh, that's awesome. Um, uh, I'm assuming Maybe an intimidation this, uh, check? Uh, for, sh uh, for sure. That's really cool. Uh, ten. No, no, I've got charisma. What was I talking about? Uh, twelve. Twelve. Uh, uh, awesome. I don't actually have charisma trained, but it's twelve. Um, okay. And um, cool. Well, my goblins rolled a one and a six, so um, so they see this huge. It's you're probably one and a half times the size of these goblins, even with their silly pointy hats. And they look at each other and go, hey, ha, and they point at you. And uh, I start my way up the hill. Yeah, you start swimming up the hill. Um, so yeah. you you can move yourself. Uh, one, like I say, two, I don't three, know how four, bad the five. terrain is and stuff like uh, that. So can you make me a uh, acrobatics or athletics check? I can definitely make you an athletics check. Okay. Uh, that is 17. 17. 17 is sufficient that you can make it up here without any movement penalty. You go okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, and you you pause at the next uh, break of the hill, but you get to there. That's okay. fine. And, uh, Maybe here. So again. Uh, you can be uh, anyway. Like, uh, I'm happy with that position. Either either it's right. equidistant between the two. Uh, Neat. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to fairy fire. Uh, sweet, go for it. At these two goblins. Yeah. Okay. Because it's a twenty foot, so you can get both of them. Yeah. It's a, it's a targeted thing, right? So it's basically four squares by yeah. four squares. Yeah. yeah. So you select so the area perfect. and you fairy fire those two goblins. Bram! Um. So I roll a d20 to do that. Go for it. I know you don't, you don't want anything. You don't roll. They, they, they save. You. you go, I they cast it. So mark off, mark off one of your spells oh, used. Yep, yep. So you use so one of your I two spells for the day. One of my spells. Uh, uh, can you please show me the area that you're drawing? Where's the front and where's the back of so, it? Yeah, where's the um, so, oh, four yeah, squares so deep. Four one, by four. Two, three, four. Five. One, two, three, four. So it's that square right there. Uh, roll me a d100, please. Which is those two. Ugh. What's your DC to say? 56. Um, two, four, plus three, say 13. Say 13. And what kind of save is it? Dex. Dex. Oh, they're good at Dex. 
Uh, okay, so. Red hair. That is big. Alright. So, you see that two of the. Uh, these two goblins. Uh, this guy uh, shakes off the enchantment. You see that there's a, a cloud of purple glittering dust appears. Neve makes a hand symbol mm -hmm. and uh, clenches her fist together, and this cloud of purple dust explodes on the top of the hill. It looks like a thousand fireflies have just gone up in a mushroom cloud. And as it descends, all this glittering purple dust, it lands on this goblin and the two goblins that were standing in the crook of the woods behind. Mm. And uh, this goblin manages to get out of the way. Um, but these goblins are lit up like they have absolute halos on them now. And you can see that it cuts straight through the dark. It cuts straight through the, um, the distance. And you have advantage to attack these goblins now. Uh, as long as you maintain concentration on this mm -hmm. guy. Uh, have you got little rings we can... I do. I thought you did. That's what I asked. Um, so, uh, Iris, you're up. Um, okay, so... Um, I'm not quite the right size, but they'll be. Okay. Um, These guys have been lit by fairy fire. Okay. Uh, the shop should be the big thing. Yeah. Okay. These are lots of little things. Yes. Um, so, so I've got <laughs> sleep, which is good at taking out lots of little things. Mm -hmm. Non. Yeah. Yes, Let's sleep is that. a great choice. Um, and it's range ninety. Isn't it, Luke? Yes. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. Then you, um, okay, so I'm going to yeah. Um, uh, you get a free five foot step, don't you? And you're a free uh, you do not. You don't. Not in the fifth step. That's okay. Yep. Okay. Good. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. I've got movement anyway. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, That's I'm going to. How many D8 do you need? I've got them here. Five. Just five. Yep. Five D8. Sweet. That's what I wrote down earlier. And I will double check it if it is wrong. Um, so, yeah. Uh, targeting up You're here. Uh, I'm going to try and. I'm going to uh, take hold of the, the black stone medallion around my neck. Uh, shut my eyes and uh, yeah, again, chanting softly under my breath, calling on the, the names. I don't want these guys to die. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's D8. Isn't that D8? 5 D8. That's gross. Especially when you roll like that. That's uh, gross. <laughs> 10, 27 hit points of goblins fall asleep. 27 hit points of goblins. <laughs> 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 Um, okay, so there is a. These goblins are lit up and glowing, and then they uh, they turn their attention at the thing that just cut, did this to them. Uh, they're terrified of you because you've just made them glow, and they're terrified of you because you're charging up the hill towards them, going blang, blang, blang. You see two goblins knock arrows and um, take aim at you. They're not firing immediately. They're waiting to see if they can find a decent spot, and then both of their arrows go completely wide as they all four of them go and fall completely asleep. I was having fun. Mm. Sorry, what are the rules for coup de gras? Yeah. The rules for coup de gras? Uh, you want to kill these goblins? You kill these goblins. They are helpless and asleep and have cool. seven hit points each. York continues walking up the hill and then just one well, at a time. Okay, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. There's, there's there's an initiative. Initiative. Yeah. Well, well, not necessarily initiative, but other people might want to do something. No, no, that's true. Um, Yorg is continually stomping up the hill. He hasn't slowed down. Okay. Um, he's continuing a charge. He's a soldier. Uh, and he's got to here. Would you guys like to have moved up? Let's say you're about here by now um, if everybody's moved up. Mm -hmm. uh, you're within range. It certainly looks like the stoic warrior charging forwards is about to coup de gras these goblins. Uh, I'm going to shout out, stop. Stop! <laughs> Uh, York's mental process is literally, you are not my superior officer. No, um, I, I, I buy that. Um, uh, he will pause for a moment and looks at you. Um, Freya, uh, I would like you guys. Yeah, you're all you're all charging. Can everybody make me a either acrobatics or athletics check, please, to get up this hill? Uh, me as well. Yes, yeah, thank you. Uh, um, no, uh, twenty-two. Oh, uh, yeah, fifteen. 
22, 15. Nope. So what do you get? Woman. <laughs> one. Okay. Not that one. Not that one, okay. Seven. Seven. Uh, that's no, fine. You you're to all going to get up the hill. This is just how quickly oh, okay. you manage to do four. it. Four. Fine. Still not great. So that's all right. Um, you're injured. And I have an arrow, yeah. Um, it didn't actually go straight into you, but it grazed you and it was, it was painful. Um, yeah, you started to make your way up the hill, but you are just not able to compete with someone who is a young, fit, professional soldier. Um, and um, so you find yourself. I look at you. You've got about half a second to make a decision. I'm looking at you with interest. <laughs> uh, cool. Unless somebody does something to stop me, they're all dead. Uh, okay, so you can. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. So as you go around and start butchering them, I'll shout no and start running up to them. Okay. okay. Unless you do something, yep. they are all dead. Is, uh, is I will be trying to use spare the dying on them if they aren't dead by the time I get there. Okay, fantastic. Can you please make me opposed initiative checks? Uh, an 11. Uh, 10. 11 and a 10, excellent. So, Jorg, you walk up and with complete dispassion, you see these fallen goblins that would absolutely have killed you and you cannot have mercy on the battlefield, you know this. So you, you walk up to the first one and you walk up to the next one and you end it, the third one, you end it. And then as you raise to strike the last one, you see... Uh, the figure of Iris approaching, and Iris's eyes are glowing now as she's chanting. Uh, are you chanting words? Yeah, same five names. Iris is chanting five words, oh. and uh, her eyes are glowing, and you can see her hair is uh, blowing back a little bit. And she points her hand at each of the goblins in turn that you have just killed, yeah. and you see their wounds bind back. They're still down. They're still unconscious, but they are. They are they ain't gonna not die. dead. Why? I just annoy you. I'm going to go up and I'm going to start cutting their bowstrings. Hmm. They will kill you. With what? The second they're awake. With what? They will kill you. Cut the bowstring. Or if not Cut you, the they will kill everybody the in that town down there. Cut the bowstring. They don't need to die. If you leave these four alive, any further deaths? Any further blacksmith's daughters from that village are yours. Do you understand? I will not let these. Do you understand? I will not let these souls die. Do you understand? You are saving these that would kill you as soon as look at you if you walked through these woods. That would take these people from their homes. You would spare them and leave the people in that village to die. I understand, but your attitude to murder... No, I am asking... Right. Men I get to the you top guys of the hill. Right. Yeah. I get to the top of the hill. I go, right, when we're done discussing philosophy and ethics, I believe there's a big monster somewhere in these woods that we need to deal with. Come on! And I'm going What's to What's your definition of deal through. with? Because if I'm not going to be... Come on! <laughs> you are not my commanding <laughs> officer. I'm gone. I'm in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. Yes, a lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tough day for Jorg. It's fine, she'll wait. Uh, so these, these goblins have had their bowstrings cut. Are you doing anything with the goblins? or are you? Uh, I didn't take any knives or weapons that they've got. But... Okay, so all of these goblins have all got a short sword and a bow. Okay, the bowstrings are cut and I'll uh, leave the bows. They're not wearing armour. Um, they're not wearing and any armour. I'll, uh, you know. Take the knife. Throw the swords. Oh, I'm not. I'm not carrying four sheep. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I'll try and hurl them away. We, we crashed the local economy like that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, try and throw them away so they're at least hard to find. Okay. Throw them so into you, the woods. you pick up and scatter some yeah. goblin swords and cut the bowstrings and so cut the bowstrings. Take their arrows and snap them. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you you spend. It, it's going to take you. Probably five minutes to gather up all their stuff and and disarm it. It's not a quick arrows. job. If, if Neve is sword. if Neve is going into the woods, I've been ordered yep. after her. I'm already gone. Yeah, that's fine. I'm, I'll be a bit behind you, but okay. <coughs> we'll, we'll leave the arrows. Um, and you can stop and cut their bowstrings yeah. pretty easily. Cut um, the bowstrings. That's quick. Take the swords. And you drag the swords, and you've got you, you've got four going. goblin yeah. swords. And as you go, you just kind of like oh, drop one here. Yeah. And then, yeah, one can go there. So you're leaving in like a breadcrumb trail of goblin swords, but that's okay. So I'm leading the way into the woods. Um, I step through into the darkness, well, the, the deeper darkness, um, but less rain. Um, 
Is there a trail? What can I see? Maybe a survival trail. Survival, you'll say. Survival. You don't survive. Eight. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Eight. Okay. Um, it is dark in these woods. Mm -hmm. Not only is it not yet dawn, um, it is also... Shitting it down with rain. Shitting it down with rain. <laughs> um, good news is that it's not so muddy underfoot. There's a crunch of moss and lichen as you go through. Uh, no, you what? need a specific thing. What are you looking for? What water? Cleaning. Sorry, to clean out the moss. Uh, uh, water. Water is fine. Yeah. Um, uh, or any kind of liquid is good. Ah, and yes. toilet paper, which is right Perfect. But for that exact function. <laughs> so you make your way through the woods. Um, and it is it is dark in here, but the it's not muddy underfoot anymore. Um, these woods are on firmer soil, but there are tree roots that twist and knot across your paths. This, there is no path through these woods. Um, if Neva's struggling, can I attempt to do the same thing and attempt to track through the woods? Um, when, I, when I get up to her, if she's... When I, basically, I stop when I catch up with her because that's what I can that's do. Um, if she's... It's a, it's a, we'll, we'll, we'll get those. So you you turn up and you find uh, Neve, who has led the group into the woods, and you're struggling. And the reason you're struggling is because you are getting a very bad vibe from these woods. You felt it affect you as soon as you walked in. Um, you speak druidic, right? I really do. Right. Um, there is... Uh, okay, you speak druidic, and there is clearly... You can feel that the, the energies in this wood have been attuned to by some kind of a druid. Um, but and like they, a nice, in, happy druid or a bad, nasty druid? Uh, a message has been left here. Okay, what in, does it say? In druidic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you see Neve walk up to uh, a tree and she places her hand on one of the knots and she closes her eyes. And around you, uh, it's dark so you can't get the full effect of it, but um, some of the vines start to coil and move. Some of the flowers bloom and open and some of the colours change. It's hard to get this full message but basically what they're saying is this word uh there's a message that has been left of warning saying do not tread deep uh, do not tread within the deep woods it says okay. skirt these woods if you must but do not tread within the deep woods dangers lie there this is corrupted soil corrupted soil that's what you get corrupted I mean, soil that's what you get well, I see what you did there. Hmm. That's bad. Uh, yeah, so you saw Neve walk up to a tree, put her <laughs> hand on it, and all this crazy nature shit just happened. Like, that, that's weird, right? This is, yeah. this is proper, you, you have found right. yourself in the company of people that can do actual magic. I presume, does, I, I presume that is an important query. Um, the Brighter Army, does it have combat mages? combat clerics in it. So the answer is yes, but they're rare. Okay, but they're not unheard of no. and I will have seen some. That's true, but okay. you would not exp um, the fact that all of you guys have magic basically makes you PCs. Um, this is not... Yeah, but the magic. No, but this is this, <laughs> is this is not a standard fantasy setting in that magic items are basically non-existent. <laughs> Um, and the ability to, to actually manipulate magic is big and important. It's big and important. If you can do it, you are an that important person. Important. The bard back in town was probably not a bard capital. No, he can't cast that. Yeah, it, 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 he, was a, he was a bard. He was yeah. a bard. He walked around and, and played songs. He couldn't cast cure wounds. Mm. Um, okay. Um, well, I think I know where the big bad thing is. Um, but I've been. There is a message here saying that beyond this point that is corrupted soil so make me in fact no, now that you know that mm. you, you don't need to you speak druidic um this was pointed out to you what it's saying is these these woods are quite an expanse mm -hmm. um and off to the west it's saying do not go west into these woodlands okay don't like that the further in towards the center of the woods you go the badder the shit gets don't go there is the warning that's been placed around these woods in druidic. If you'd like to leave a message in response, you can. In response? No, well, I want to keep this warning. Fine, but what I'm saying is that that's how druidic but, works. But you can add a comment section. <laughs> that's li yeah, <laughs> literally, wanna, don't go into the comments. Like, so literally, that's how <laughs> druidic works <laughs> in my setting. Sad, can... sad face emoji? Sad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you want to talk maybe about short rests and the possibility that maybe we qualify for a short rest? Uh, I think you absolutely did, both of you, um, because the way I'm running short rests in my game, so typically in D&D &D you need to take an hour, 
and I hate that because it's lame. Uh, so Don't in my game, if you have an emotional scene with another character where you want an emotional concession from them, it doesn't matter what that concession is, and it actually doesn't matter if it's granted or not. For, for there, for example, we had somebody who wanted uh, mercy, I guess, and it was... It was not granted. That was that you know that was not a convinced player. It doesn't matter. That was an interesting, engaging scene, and you have qualified for a short rest, which means that you can both spend hit dice if you want to, uh, and you can recharge your abilities that recharge on short rests. Uh, I'm fine for the moment. Uh, I, I yeah. Cool. But, but that's if Amy was having an emotional scene now, then she could spend her hit die. Yeah. And so you've got one d eight. Which you get to when you roll take short rest, you can roll that and go. I get back this many hit points. Oh, nice. But in order to do that, we need a short, uh, the quote, short rest, yep. which means you yeah. need to have some sort of emotional scene with someone. Mm. If you wanted to do that, that would be a way for you to recover a bit yep. from your arrow in your clothes. Need, um, yes. Where are we going? Well, all of this says that that way is bad, and as we're chasing something bad, the track, the track. I'd imagine that's Slide where we tracks. want to go. Um, many. Uh, 21. 21. Uh, the tracks head uh, more or less straight north, around the uh, skirting skirting the edge of the forest. They didn't go in here. They oh, were, thank God. Oh, thank God. Um. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Nearly went on an adventure there, guys. That would have been rubbish. Have the other two caught up with us? Uh, yes, uh, okay. you guys are... Um, York takes a moment to confirm that everybody's there. Um, right, I will leave a little thing. I'll say, um, Brownie face emoji. I'll say, big monster in league with goblins went north at this point. Great, that's a great message. Yeah. Uh, Milady, the goblins seem to have gone north. Do you wish to continue to? Onwards, north. Um, I will. Unless anybody else wants to take lead, I will take lead. Mm. Um, sweet. So there's. He catches your eyes momentarily, <laughs> yep. and it's actually pity you see more than anything else. Uh, and then he just leads you off up into woods to the north. Wow. Um, you guys make your way through the woods. Uh, you see every now and again, Neve stops for a moment and just gently uh, rests a hand on one of the trees. And you see some of the moss that's growing around it shifts and moves in pattern. This is you leaving your message in Druidic as you go. Um, it's, yeah, it would be more impressive if it was light and you could all see what's going on as it is. A shadowy figure in front of you stops and goes, high five, tree. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, well, that's weird. Don't know what's going on there. Oh, I can see it in shades of grey. You can see in shades of grey. Well, then, great. You see you see the moss growing. Um, but you've seen this before. Yeah, you you, right. you know how this works. Is it, is it low light or zero light in this environment at the moment? Are we, are we in light and torches territory or not? Uh, you are. It was four in the morning when we were woken up. It so. was four in the morning, yeah. So by the time you you got here, so you you headed into the woods and it was pitch dark, mm. and dawn is breaking and um, low amber hues wow. are dappling through the branches and lighting the ground. Shades of pink and orange. The morning has arisen and the forest is waking up. Uh, you feel this within you. The mm -hmm. forest literally waking up. You see animals poking their heads out. The rain has not abated mm -hmm. and you guys are in very damp clothing now. But you can see that there's a, a squirrel that's making its way out of a tree to try and get some nuts. You can hear some rabbits around you. Certainly it doesn't feel like this part of the forest is as bad but now that you've <laughs> had your attention drawn to it you can feel that there is clearly the influence of corrupted magic off to the west in this forest. Uh, but now that the light has come up and now that you've pointed them out, you can see a, a cascade of broken branches mm -hmm. and drag marks and it, it's now really clear which way you're supposed to be going. Um, although it was, it was only so hard because it was pitch dark and you couldn't see anything. Now it's light, you go, wow, something big went this way. Mm. Um, in fact, you got a 21, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Okay, on a 21... Apparently on the firmer ground, I can. It's easier to tell when it's not just slopped. <laughs> when it's not just like. Bleh. Yeah, on a twenty-one, you can see. You'd estimate that there was a party of, um, between six and eight goblins, okay. um, and a big thing. Uh, and the big thing. 
Hello? What? <laughs> what the hell? Do you carry an imp in your pocket? <laughs> Uh, no, I'm just get a, a, a water or something. Anything is fine. Um, Water's far away from here. Yeah, yeah. We just had one. Fuck off. Um, no, that's probably going to react badly with it. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, we can have beer. No, Josh, <laughs> no, no, no! Why not? <laughs> Such a fine choice. Oh. Such a fine choice. Um, any liquid is good liquid. No. <laughs> that's just not correct. Oh. Um, <laughs> like, just... That's, that's oh, just not working. Uh, yeah, of course it is. Yeah. Any liquid works. It's a. Uh, yeah, but now you're going to have a horribly sticky game board when yeah. it's all finished. Well, no, I'll wash it down with water after the session. Oh. <laughs> this is this is for right now because I did not have a glass of water. In fact, I've got water just over there. <laughs> <laughs> you just wanted to try the beer. It smells, uh. it smells of beer in here, which would be great if I liked beer, which I don't. Oh. Oh, well, um, it's fine. No, I, right. I, I don't like drinking it. Smelling it's fine. As long as it's not. Sure. Okay, so for now, we're going to crack on. Um, <laughs> um, how much of this water? Are? This, you know, water that I've got here for this uh, purpose. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, you notice that you, that you describe exactly what you see. The big thing, um, you have fought goblins and seen goblins before. Mm. Um, you're pretty sure it is a bugbear. Oh, boy. So they've probably got a bugbear with them. Um. Oh, all right. Is that bad? Um. Yes. Uh, yes, my lady. Uh, it is. Can I? Um, yes. Can I take a bit of time the, during this conversation to get some hit points back? Uh, you need to have a much hit with change. someone. Quite some ferocity behind it. That's how it works. I don't know who I can have my emotion with. Fine, I'll, fine, I'll stay on my water. It's fine, I'll show you the emotion. That makes a lot more sense. It's not in a, I, I'm confused for it not being in a mug that I can easily confuse in the middle of painting and then drink paint with it. So. <laughs> Close. No, I end up, uh, I wipe my paintbrushes in my coat. That's that's what I end up doing. And I'm like, oh, why have I done this? Oh, well, mm, oh. yellow coat. <laughs> <laughs> how are you alive? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. She, uh, Take your superpowers, right? Yeah, so really, really shit end budget superpowers. <laughs> <laughs> Someone roll me a d12, please. Okay. Barbarian. I will do that. Oh, no. It's Sorry. I... It was a 12. That was Ooh. worth doing. Cool. This was my demonstration of how nothing happens. Um, <laughs> when... Uh, I make you. I, I like random encounters, but I don't think they should be very common. So I make people roll a d12, and if you are, um, uh, basically, if you get an 11 or a 12, you have a random encounter, which means you've got a five in six chance of not having a random encounter whenever I ask for one. Mm -hmm. On an 11, you have an easy random encounter, and a 12, you get a, you get a roll on the harder table. So that seems legit. Uh, on a 12, uh, d100, somebody me. Okay. Oh, no. Not a table. It's That's my fault. Please. All I wanted was some box text. It's got. my fault. Okay, so it's, it's eight. How is it your fault? I rolled the dice. Eighty. Eighty. That's right. Eighty okay. plus zero. How is it your fault? I totally rolled the dice. My bad. Okay. Um. I mean, good boy. D12. You hear. Um, <laughs> you hear something. Um, coming from up ahead that you weren't expecting. Um, randomly. And it is. Uh, how am I going to interpret that? That's that's really fun. Oh, that's oh, that's nice. Okay, so you hear up ahead some uh, peals of laughter. Um, it's high pitched, but also a bit gruff. Um, you are probably not certain what it is, but it's just coming up from up ahead. Seems like there's some kind of a clearing. Can I see if I recognise anything like that? Certainly, a nature check. I think okay. I might be trying to move stealthily. Similar. Burn these dice. It's seven. 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 Uh, it's, too, it's too far away. You've just got to train them. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, you you've got got them I'm rolling all the bad luck out of them. Concealed you've got, it in the tree. You've got so, something. Dice something dice okay, so it looks like there's some kind of a clearing maybe a hundred feet away from you. And okay. you hear some laughter and something else coming from up there, but you're not sure what it is. Would you like to move stealthily, you said? Yes, I'm going to be so I'm be approaching and sort of seeing if I can. I'm going to allow these guys to move seen. stealthily by walking into the clearing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, right. I, 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 I'm going to be the mobile distraction element, yes. Okay, do you want to get any scout? No, fine, okay, yeah, cool. cool. No, no, no. So, Walk these guys, these guys should definitely do a thing, All right. but 
But then what, what yeah, else sure. am I going to do? That's, that's like, reason. Um, someone, uh, so would you two, are you approaching stuff? I am going to be trying to find a vantage point. Cool. Uh, make me an acrobatics check. This is quite intense music. Yeah, this is like this is like final boss music. I yeah, think. it's mm-hmm. not meant to be this. this uh, uh, Twelve months. It's, it's not night time anymore. You, you haven't trained your um, music I, provider uh, I quite have, as well. I have as an excellent uh, series of things. It's on my iPad, which is with all my models in a garage somewhere. <laughs> so I know that's it's very irritating, but there we go. Right. Twelve months stealth. Fifteen on acrobatics. Wow. <laughs> okay, so on an acrobatics fifteen, um, you see Freya reach up, grab hold of a branch, and flip herself up into the trees oh. and just ninja her way dancing from tree trunk to tree trunk doosh, 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 until she's up lost in the canopy somewhere there's Sorry. probably at least partially this reason that you all just went for it because I can't exactly ask for instructions at this point so <laughs> if in doubt advance supply some imperial guard tactics for this um, <laughs> you head up as uh, swiftly as you like uh, would you get me close to on, head on a 12 squad. Um, on a 12, you see Iris crouch down low and make her way through the uh, brush. She's not a... Uh, this is not something you would have expected from her, but Iris knows how to move sneakily. Um, and she's managed to... Uh, you aren't you in particular, I, 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 you go, that's interesting. This, this woman would be a scout if she was in the army. That's the role she would serve. So I'm moving... I'm very much moving into it, but I'm also not that just... Yes blindly walking into danger. My sure. head's on a swivel. I'm up looking Checking around. What's going sure on. Everything's going well, on. You, you can clock Freya up in the trees above you. Mm-hmm. Um, I imagine you are... I'm holding back just Holding back moment. just for the moment. That's fine. Um, uh, and so, yeah, the person that goes first is Iris. And Iris, you hear um, this laughter come again. And as you get closer, standing behind a tree, you look around and you see a young orc running... Uh, through the fields and he's laughing uh, through the field through the clearing there's a large it looks like a glade a large glade in the middle of the forest and uh, this young orc is running and he's laughing and uh, you hear something in orcish and he runs and he jumps and he catches a wooden disc and you see coming bounding down the other side of the clearing um, his uh, does anyone speak orc? no No. alright his uh uh, a larger orc comes by and uh, says something to him and he turns and then you see a uh, a third orc come out and start arguing with the first one. Krumshka nakaba kura kanta ilya karabaga hanch nasaba kuriaba ilnastaka turabash namahajk Great. Okay. Cool. <laughs> no, keep going. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to have to pull it out. Of uh, you enter just... the clearing and immediately. Uh, okay. So, um, the uh, the orc that has just entered mm. runs, grabs the uh, little orc, and runs back. Okay. Makes a bolt in, grabs the kid, and bolts back. The kid has dropped his frisbee, mm-hmm. and he's very sad about it. Um, the other orc turns and growls at you. This thing is big. Mm-hmm. Um, this is a full orc, not a half orc. It's yeah. a full orc, and orcs in my setting are about eight feet tall. They're absolute, well, at least seven. They're, they're really big, and they have tusks that come out. Are they armed? Uh, this guy's not armed. Okay. Uh, in that case, um, the, the, the axe goes from held by the grip to... Uh, York just lets it drop through his hand, so it's held down by the thing, uh, and then speaks really fucking butchered uh, Stalian, mm-hmm. uh, like really bad, so but probably y- better than it was expecting. Yeah. Um. No quarrel. Just passing. fight not unless you want to (laughs) rather not it's not what I'm here for how many more Um, I'm going to step forward from the back looking very old and very injured Um, you you still step forward in a sudden way you see this orc reaches for a weapon that isn't there 
um, just just as a knee jerk yeah. thing. You recognise yeah. that as a soldier. It went. I am so unarmed, mm. uh, and you actually recognise there's a slight look of fear in the Zorg's face. It tr- it's trying to hide it, but it's it's there, and it sees you, and it goes. I'm gonna I'm gonna put my weapon on my belt. I'm gonna put my weapon on my belt. Uh, I still have my shield out. It's still on my arm. I haven't done anything about that, but my weapon is on my belt. Just passing uh, goblins that way. Bugbear. Uh, do you speak Starling? I do speak Starling. Uh, you are a keeper of the wells. I am. And hmm. He might recognise what that is. Uh, maybe. Uh, that you you recognise that might be a thing you can play on. Um, he turns and says, and he points. Um, it's they came into the clearing. He says, and he points, and they said they went out of the clearing. Like basically, this is the place that they broke out of the forest. They came in through the forest, mm-hmm. cut through to get to the village, and they have gone out a different way through the clearing. He says. No, no quarrel. No fight. No fight. And the kid comes running out from the thing, being chased furiously by uh, by the other orc, comes running out past the, the <laughs> slips through the arms of the orc standing in front of you and comes standing almost at your feet, picks up his uh, wooden frisbee and offers it to you. There's a there's a moment and the orders no play thanks. Um, the second orc comes out. Uh, the orc is also being very careful as to where and how he is moving at the moment. Mm-hmm. Like he is stood stock still. Yep. No play thanks. There is a moment of extraordinary tension. Um, both orcs looking at their kid right next to mm-hmm. a giant Browter warrior who is very clearly a giant Browter warrior and uh, I imagine that very carefully just, just one of the orcs I've talked to the child I'm almost certainly looking at one of the other two or I've my yep. eyes are on the pair of them and I'm not breaking eye contact at the moment one of them has come forward and is coming forward like this, really slowly and carefully, and uh, reaches down and picks up the orc who turns and speaks to you in Estalian, the the kid, and says, "Why won't you play? Why can't we play, Mom? Why can't we play?" No time for play left. But I don't understand. Dad was playing, he says, um, and we- his, his mum his mum is carrying him away. We go, then you play. And his mum says, if your father is well enough to play, he is well enough to go to war. And you see the orc that was there turns and nods at you guys and walks off. I guess the goblins went that way? They did. We're going this way. Yep, we are. Cool. So, yeah, a random encounter doesn't mean a random combat encounter. It just means a random encounter. And I was like, oh, some orcs. All right. <laughs> uh, you make your way uh, out to the edge of the clearing, mm-hmm. uh, to the side of the forest. That orc is totally turning up in, like, five session time. Well, yeah. <laughs> Fucking better. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, yeah, in fact, you see... Hey, no, we're playing this for the long game. 20 years later, yeah. we meet the kid again. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, but actually, time to play now well, as, you see, yeah. as you see the, the orcs leave um, and you watch them go because you're not fucking oh stupid. yeah no well also we're waiting yeah. until they're out of eyeshot and earshot before we can go shall we regroup the party yeah <laughs> so uh, you see them go and the the guy that was throwing the frisbee the, the dad is uh, limping a little um, you notice and as uh, somebody who is true to people and somebody who has seen people mm-hmm. this guy has received an injury and is recovering. Mm. Um, so who are we fighting at the pass? Uh, at the pass, mm-hmm. you're fighting. With. Right? 
I'm gonna flippity flip out through the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 Turns off the road. Knives out. Little, Everything okay? Are we all good? <laughs> lifting of leaves. Fix the fucking landing. <laughs> Boom. Pow. <laughs> Wasn't like it's not even a thing. Just really I casually really touched right? the hair. Because missed opportunity for some time. Yeah. Okay. Surprise. Says looking at you, but it's fine. It hasn't made eye contact with <laughs> since the hill. Hmm. Uh, you make your way through the clearing and you have made your way out of the forest. The clearing descends down the hill, the forest is on a hill, uh, and you can see there is a, uh, in the distance there is a second hill um, with a gentle lowland valley between them. There's the hill where the forest is, there's a second hill with a lowland valley between them, and at the top of the second hill there is a large white marble building. Half ten, we're, we're waiting. Yeah, yeah. There is a large white marble building. That can I have what I was expecting? Religion checks from everybody. Hell yeah, you can. Even if not trained. Uh, uh, no, only if, if trained, you can have a religion check. Oh. Are you tra- not trained in religion? I'm no. not. No. I'm trained in history and Arcana. I, I will like take a history check. I'll, I'll take a history check. Trained in religion? No, I, I'm not. Oh, no. uh, we, we don't roll for that. Oh. So, uh, That's usually, more like it. Usually, you get asked for a knowledge skill or something. 19. Like that. Just to check stuff like that. 19. No, 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 19. No, 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 19. Okay. Like so, you are feeling like. So, you, you all get out of the, the clearing and you see that there is a white stone uh, building. What did you get? You got a no, 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 19. Number, number 19. This is a tomb. Um, and it's a large tomb. It looks like a pretty grand tomb, um, which is, uh, you're not sure exactly what it's for, but you can tell that that's clearly what it was. And also, by its construction, you can tell that this is ancient. This has been here for some time. This is, you know, this, this is not built in the last 200 years. This is okay. old. And you are having a very interesting reaction. To this, you turn and you look up at this white building, and as you do, as you all see, Yorg looking up at the white building, and his skin glows just a little bit. And I think we're going to end the session there. Okay. Ah, okay. Thank you very much, everybody. Down you cliffhanger. <laughs> um, tune in next time for uh, episode <laughs> one. <laughs> of inheritance uh thank you very much for sticking with us chat um we're going to we're going to have all kinds of new things it's going to be great to see how this stream grows and develops not just these characters and the journeys that they get to go on and the growth that we get to experience with them but also uh from my side all the technical stuff yeah uh, as we see the caliber of the video improve and the audio get better and everything so um Thank you for being here at the very first one, and you'll get to tell your grandchildren that this is where you were on this day. Uh, until that point, thank you very much, and peace out. Safe travels, everyone. Do we know when the next one's going to be? Next week? Next same week? bat time, same, same bat time.